Wagwaglids need to tell you about our Patreon. You need to sign up. It is the best Patreon in the game. Starting at just three quid a month, you can get access to the entire back catalogue of Patreon content. So you get an extra episode every single week. You also get early access to these public episodes and you get access to the Patreon specials that we put one out every single month of. And the entire back catalogue of those specials includes... We've got all the lock-ins with Ishan, Stephen Tries, Jamie Hutchinson, Johnny Bongo. They're now legendary and there's more to come. We've got the last dance, the roast of Adam and Dan, the food challenge, the footy challenge. When we went to... Lorette Demand, it just became an absolute mess of a rugby league special. And, legendary. And next year, we've already got Amsterdam and Nashville booked. We've got a restaurant special coming soon that's going to blow everything away. We've got another lock in coming very soon. Go to patreon.com slash have a pod, sign up for three quid a month or five quid a month or ten quid a month, get yourself access to all that bonus content and become a proper member of the team. Stop and, being a pube. And you get to watch this 48 hours early. Yeah. Get on me. Go ahead. Put my knob. In your mouth. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. I think the colour of this jumper really brings out my skin. Uh, what? How can, what? How can great? Compliments me. Compliments me. Yeah. I was looking in the mirror before and I was like, you know what, this might be my colour. Like for the for the autumn months. I might go with this sort of slate grey. <laughs> That's not slate. S- no, not slate, sorry. Soft grey. S- oh, soft grey. Yeah. Do you, like you look colour palette of greys up? We'll say what it actually <laughs> is. Do you not like a hard grey? What? Do you not like a hard grey? <laughs> um I, I just think, I don't I do I like grey as a colour, to be honest with you. I think it's a I'm very not versatile. A fan of the greys. There you go, Urban Chic, I'd say this is. Oh no, it's Warm Pewter. Warm Pewter. Urban Chic, lad. That's so. It's more wishing well. I thought it was wishing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'd say it's wishing well. Yeah. Well, it's making me look well. Let me... Th- <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Hey, no guests that? today. I've got a sense that we don't need it. There's bullshit in the air. <laughs> wishing well, Grey. Bringing out your what? Skin. Skin. <laughs> Bringing out your skin. Gray Do you know what I think? I think the uh, hole in the top of this uh, sweater is really bringing out my head. <laughs> I tried one with no hole, but it's just enough fucking jumper. <laughs> right, no. It's a pillowcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just in a very good mood. Oh, you know I mean? then let's not bring you down, wishing well, Grey. Uh, it was sent to me by Unlike Humans, this, so shout out to them. Shout out to Unlike <laughs> Humans. Get their wishing well grey sweatshirt <laughs> with a hole in the top <laughs> at unlikehumans.co.org. .co.org? Yeah. They didn't pay for it, so it is .co.org. Don't even search, actually. Yeah. Have you got anything for free? No. What are you wearing? A Dan Marino, Marino. throwback uh, that we got in at the NFL last year. Yes. It's very nice. Beautiful. And Finn's got an Oasis jumping on. Oh, <laughs> oh of course he is, because it's the anniversary of when they brought out the fifth album that no one liked. <laughs> Well, it's I don't album. believe it. And I tell you, album though, but they ta- changed their sound. Then. But I tell you what, they did do. They <laughs> stuck on the course. Chemistry. They kept making me. the same music, <laughs> and everyone was happy. And oh, it I worked don't. out brilliantly. They're the best Is band that in the Oasis world. Did. did the Oasis ever change their vibe? No. Uh, the last no. album was a bit psychedelic. Shut the last <laughs> album was a bit psychedelic. Oh, they nicked a different bit of the Beatles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, Ooh, don't use they did though, didn't they? Fucking in the bushes. They are a Beatles tribute band. Fucking in the bushes at the start of Standing on the Shoulders yeah. of Giants. Yes. I listened to that album for the first time. I was like, what is this? Amazing. The rest of the album, like, oh, yeah. There no, you Standing go. on the Shoulders of Giants is like drum machines and that. It was different. And it was all right. Was a bit yeah, psychedelic. Yeah. Gas Panic's very. What's your favourite one of the album? Um, what's the story, Morning Glory? Young people. Nice. Mine's WD40. Isn't it mad that that. Uh, album's got Morning Glory in the title. My soldier well What's cock. the story, cock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if it's so more or less. What's the story, cock? <laughs> My soldier, you say that in Coronation Street, don't you? Where's cock? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, where's Wally? Where, where it says cock is like an antem of demons. Yeah, right, cock. Right, cock. Where's that? What's the story, cock? Yeah, yeah it, sounds, it sounds it yeah. sounds generic northern, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, right, cock. Okay. What's that? Where does that come from? What's the story? Morning Glory. It's an American saying. No, yeah. I think he means cock. Cock. <laughs> yeah. Where does cock come yeah, from? Right, cock. 
Hey, when people call someone else cock, not like you're a cock, but like, yeah. all right, cock. All right, cock. What's that come from? Is it short for like cock and spaniel or something? <laughs> yeah, because they used to say, morning cock and spaniel. And then they were like, wow. No, it was. Wow. Everyone was called Daniel. And then he used the cockney rhyming slang, cock and spaniel. And then it went into cock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you made that more retarded, but you managed. <sighs> <laughs> morning cock East Midlands You alright duck Well it is morning duck, cock Duck yeah. is the Midlands Do you still yeah. get morning glory What <laughs> Do you still get morning glory I get it about 3am 5am <laughs> I'm at that age Where I need regular pisses uh, I No know. Morning glory's a fucking A fucking stonk on in the morning Isn't it That's what yeah. morning glory is yeah. It's not like needing a piss <laughs> Yeah but it's it, it It's to do with your bladder And your prostate though You don't It's not just your body Every time waking up, going, I thought fuck it something, Adam. <laughs> oh my god! It's your testosterone. It is. Is it? Oh, it's testosterone. I thought it was. It's you not know. to do with pissing. I know. Oh, I, th I honestly thought it was to do with. No, it's having a fucking raging boner in the morning. Oh, cool. So I, I stand corrected. All wishing well here is <laughs> ready to fuck. God, if there is one, is looking down, going, Adam, you need to spread that seed testosterone. early. Testosterone's highest in the morning after you wake well, up. Well, one of one of Stephen's friends used to do a uh, a night drive home from work. And he'd get to a certain point. And just like have to wank. At like 4 a.m. And just get a massive erection while he was driving. Well, that's that's right. nothing to do with this because right. you've got to be asleep. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Steve, Steve, was your some some sort of mate, some sort of rapey DPD driver? <laughs> some awful horny milkman. Every time I'm on this round, I have to fuck the fuck. Do you remember getting boners on the bus though? Boners on the bus was there. <laughs> <laughs> When you were younger, you got boners on the bus. You went to an all boys school. What were you doing on? I wasn't bus? looking at women. It was the vibration of the bus seat on my balls. Oh, you, li you horny little devil! That's that is not that is a very common thing. Boners on the bus is a thing. Bus boners. Bus boners. Oh, I thought that's a thing. Google bus boners. The boners just, on I just the bus go up and down, <laughs> up and down. Up and down. No, they just go up and stay up. Oh dear. Yeah. Isn't it only one of us has wanked on a bus anyway? Well, it was actually a uh, coach. stagecoach. Get it up, because that is that is actually a thing, getting an bus, erection on a bus. Bus boners is not going to Just put up. get an erect on a bus. <laughs> come. I want I want a company laptop, because this is my one. <laughs> oh, shut up, Finn. Like, what, what are they going to do? You've got a mic. Shut what, up. The Welsh government going to take boner. your laptop off you. Urban Dictionary. A bus boner is an erection that one gets while riding the bus. It is usually caused by the combination of fatigue, warmth, and the vibrations of the vehicle. Similar occurrences have also been reported in minivans and tour boats. And milk floats <laughs> by Steve, mate. <laughs> Minivan boners. Fucking. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, cool. There was a girl I went to college with. I remember her telling me, where the fuck were we? At the train station or something? She told me about how on buses she used to use the vibration, cross her legs, and then rub herself against the seat what until the she fuck? came. How old is she? We were both about seventeen, and I went, "Oh, cool!" And then didn't try and fuck her. Like, <laughs> I, I regret that so much. She was obviously even now twenty nine years. Oh, later. it would have been so good. She was like literally like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it." <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I am 46. Saying, Come on and fuck my boss pussy. Well, at the time I was like, well, she de she gets dead, horny. She sounds, she's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've thought about it at least twice a month for the last 20 years. So probably should have done something about that. But I, that was, every time someone says, oh, your vibrations on the, on the bus, my head goes to Dirty Girl from college, who was great fun, by the way. Can't remember your name. Thought about your Melissa. Loads. Melissa Bus Pussy. That was it. <laughs> Melissa Bus Pussy. Bond girl. Sounds like a bond girl. <laughs> what did you do about the bus boner? I know what she did. She literally rubbed herself. No, you just until have to she sort came. of just you just have and to And then when you come you just start pressing the button like <sighs> You just have to wait until you get off and then put your cock in your waistband until it goes down. What? You know, like when you've got a, a boner, so you try and hide it, so you put it straight up into the into the band of your That's pants. That's the classic move, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's and it. then it eventually goes down. I can't reach my belt. Can't you reach your belt with your car? I probably could. Yeah. Pull your pants down. <laughs> <That'd> look better. <laughs> if you ever see me, like, oh, Dan's into hip hop. Look how 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 low he wears his jeans. I'm just trying to get my dick over the line. Have you ever jizzed into your belly button? Yeah. 
Cool. Good. Next question. <laughs> Wishing well, Gray. <laughs> if anyone's just worried. Really brings out the jizz out of my dick. <laughs> Hides the stains. Yeah, you you have. You've ended up getting so excited that you've jizzed into your... Oh, no, no, no. I thought you meant oh, just generally. No, I thought you... No. God. I thought you just meant like ever. Like in any... Like I've come onto my stomach before and it's gone into my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> and it's made like a little puddle. Um, Eight minutes in. Come reservoir. I always think about the new listeners who are like, I'll give it a go. <laughs> My mates have told me it's quite good. I wonder what it's about. <laughs> Just in the way. <laughs> yeah, but no, not accidentally. I've never accidentally spaffed. Every time I've come, it's been very purposeful. Mm. Yeah. Never an accidental spaff. Except for in your sleep. You jizz, 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 I've never had a wet dream. No. You've God. never had any kind of any jizz. No, that's why he wakes up with such stonking boners. Can't jizz in your sleep, though, can you? As in, like, in your dreams. It's like you can't punch people or run. What? what? <laughs> you do jizz in your dreams, though. No, I mean, yeah. like, if you're having a sex dream. No, I can't. I can't punch people or run, either. They're not all together. You can't run, like... punch, or jizz. There's no point. You can't, Carl can't have his, like... Can you punch people in your dreams? What dreams are you having? No, but I mean, like... I've had fights in my dreams before, yeah? Well, I, mean, I can't run me. Yeah, but that's a yeah. Yeah, but like punching's the same, isn't it? Like your arm doesn't work. No, I can. Oh, yeah. did you just batter people. Apparently, do you know what I heard years ago? Right, that apparently it's impossible to read the time in your dream. Like you'll never see a, a face of a clock. But right. I just want to know how they figured that out. How do they know? Because no one's ever said they've seen a clock. In a same dream. with being on your phone, isn't it? The amount you're on your phone when you're awake. Do you ever? think you're on your phone when you're dreaming <laughs> what a shit dream <laughs> no no but that's what i mean like you're on Go it all bed. the time oh what yeah, are you about you oh, don't, you don't you should have closed your apps phone. down i've never been paraglide neither never thought of that never been paraglide so there's something about there's something about that thing that yeah. you don't you don't it yeah, doesn't yeah. cross over into your dreams your brain doesn't I get, want fl- it. I get a lot of, so i sort of know what you mean about dreams because i get flying dreams and then they're going really well and i'm flying dead well then gradually my flying starts going shit. And I'm like, right, I'm going to try and fly past that building. And I start hitting it. Have you ever like, Googled a dream? And I think it's because you're coming out of the sleep cycle. Uh. Like it's almost like you're regaining. Every time that it gets more crystal clear and like goes a bit shit. I think it might be that. Have you ever Googled a dream that you've had? No. So you've all got me. Yeah, so Google that. Flying dream, but can't fly. Oh my God. Shoot. I Googled my one. I've told you about my recurring dream where I float above the stage and can't get back to yeah, it. Yeah, that's imposter syndrome, surely. Has I to don't be. feel like I've got Can't to fly properly. Here's the reason you can't fly in your lucid dreams. An unconscious desire in the dreamer to free themselves from their problems. Oh, wow. I mean. Is it like star signs though? It's just so generic. You just find I will never Google what my dream means in the morning. I've got a wife. I'll ask her. But uh, uh, dreams, like dream research, is quite like in depth. Right, it's not like horoscopes. It's just like oh, the stars over there. I can't say. punch, run, or jizz. Put that in. Can't punch, run, or like jizz. putting can't punch. No, <laughs> can't run or run. Yeah, can't jizz. It's like probably trying to escape from something like a, a something you need to put off or something. A lack of self esteem and self confidence. Wow. Well, that this website's wrong. No, Carl's, <laughs> Carl's very, like, he hasn't got very high self-esteem at all. He thinks he's a worthless piece of shit, doesn't he? <laughs> well, that's what you think. Is that where the homophobia oh, comes from? Who's homophobic? What? You? <laughs> is that what it is? Are you gay and you just don't know how to, and you judge yourself for it? Maybe. I can't bum in my dreams. I've never bummed in my dreams. It's like paragliding. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you Google um, bumming? What? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> bumming. In dreams. Uh, put punching. Like, you can't, like, I can never, like... Who are you trying to, who are trying to never twat get... in your dreams? No, if, you have, if there's ever any conflict, it's uh, sometimes difficult to, like... Oh, here we go. God, quite a lot of people have put this in. This is on Quora. Why so do I keep punching people in my dreams? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to uh, be some kind of fight or flight thing, isn't it? Why the hell it's can't we punch in our dreams? I, d- I, d- I punched uh, me ex self in the face again, Carl. Oh, my God, the self So you're very insecure. Honestly... Do you know what? We're going to build you up. We're going to build you up. I've been for ages. I've been battling people lately and splitting away. So I must be all right now. In your dream? No. All right. But I'm saying that's a common thing, isn't it? Well, it's apparently it's self-confidence. Yeah. Let's build. Great, right. Can Carl. we just make a thing? Let's build up Carl today. You're not homophobic, really. Thank you. You're a good guy. You've got good hair. You've got Thank great you. hair. Yeah. Roll me cock. You've, You've got really getting there foot. in terms of production. <laughs> I am getting there, yeah. You're yeah, yeah. the best. 
you have sounded like you need to blow your nose since about 2008, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, do you know what that is? That's, yep. uh, you know, me nose is fucked, isn't it? But in a way, that monotone... It's all the lemo he does. Oh, yeah. That, that'll he, help your confidence. He's bad on the shite, Carl. Yeah, bad like, on the shite. On the bad shite. on the shite. Yeah. yeah, get a bag of shite in. <laughs> a bag of shite? <laughs> Have you never heard it called shite? No. Is that a scouse thing? Yeah. He's on the shite. to be. He's on the shite. Yeah. Are you oh, on the he's shite? a shite head. No. No? Are you on the shite? Yeah. Big line of shite. No. no. Oh, this is classic scouse, isn't it? No, lad. It's a fucking bag of shite, not a line of shite. That makes no sense, Dan. You don't know our very fucking weird rules that have never been written down by anyone. But for some reason, 400,000 fucking scousers all know them. Nan! Nan! What do you call it? A bag of shite! He's a fucking wool! Good God. No, you'd be like, oh, fucking hell, Dan. Big fucking... No, you wouldn't say get a bag of shite and just be like, get some shite in. <laughs> get some shite? Yeah. It's already all right. lost me in it and I don't know what it is anymore. All right, okay. Dan, are you are you on shite? No, on the shite. Oh, on the... the oh, the... Fucking on the... <laughs> On shite! Yeah, like, if you just said that you on shite, it just mean like have you got a fucking bad stomach? I'm fucking dying for a shite. Got <laughs> <laughs> <The> IBS. <laughs> Lemo, I like. Lemo's good. Lemo's dead. It's fun. probably out of it's, it's not gone, used no. as much anymore, Lemo, because the police got onto it. <laughs> what? The police cracked the code. It's the crack the, the code. <laughs> <laughs> crack the code. That's how we say shit. <laughs> Those fucking eight years when they hadn't got it. Tell you what, lads, we need to work out what this is. Keep hearing it, keep seeing it. Can I buy two grams of lemo? You can, you can just go and... I don't even get it. Go down the fucking Morrisons. Get it? Get lemon? Don't get it. <laughs> That's why we call it shite now. The police don't want to know. Yeah. A bag of shite. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Fuck off. That's not, <laughs> that's not illegal. It's just dirty. <laughs> yeah, you can be on the shite. You're not on shite. You're not having a shite. You're having right. the shite. Right. You got a load of shite up your nose. Yeah. I'd say that. I should shite all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> just pink eye. <laughs> oh, dear. What would you call it? If you were your friends? Why, why is Dan in such a good mood? He's covered in shite. <laughs> oh, he's full of shite. He's been, he's been sniffing shite all night. <laughs> oh, that okay. Bad. What would you call um, cocaine around your friends? One bag of drugs, please. You'd say I'm on the bags of drugs. I'm, I'd say I'm having a really good time on my bag of drugs. No, genuinely impressed them. Do you just call it coke? Um, Getting the coke in. Like, go and get the fucking bugle. Um, we call it buzz powder as well sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we do. He's on the buzz powder. <laughs> In the toilet with me, so I can crack open this buzz powder. Lad. Yeah. And where's Finn? He's having a boogie candle. <laughs> Have you ever tried both? Buzz candles, boogie, <laughs> buzz candles, <laughs> bougie, boogie powder. Oh. What would you call it? If you're saying with the boys, like, let's get a bag of um, a bag of shite, a bag of shite, <laughs> bag of shite. one bag of co yeah, coke in it. It's coke. Did you say coke? Yeah. Coke. Charlie, I find a bit cringy. Char it? If you say Charlie, Charlie, he's lizard. on the Charles. I'm on the Bronson. <laughs> Bag of Bronson. Prince. Did you go Bronson? Yeah. Well, he I used just... to be called in Zogby around here. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the in Zogby. Then. It was? No, it actually did. Yeah. It actually did. He's on the in Zogby. No, it actually. No, it's got a 50 bag of Zogby up his No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I'm not even messing. No, it didn't. Getting on the half for fifty on the Zogby. No, because well. <laughs> what? No, what, I'm not who having did Charles it. and Zogby play for. Charles and Zogby play for Villa Where and Newcastle. Newcastle. White stripes on the shirt. Ah, oh. all I'm and a fucking and Zogby, mate. Brilliant. It, that is actually real, by the way. Pack of Bron. Get on the Bronson sounds all right, doesn't it? Shay Given. That was one. <laughs> Hang on. Can, oh. can you use it in a sentence, please? Fucking hell, lad, I've got loads. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Dan's on the shite. Finn's got a boogie candle. I'm going to get a fucking sack of shea given in there. I'm a bag of shea given. It's fucking reliable. <laughs> reliable. Top class. Exactly. Not, not quite world class. Yeah, always. You expect a 7 out of 10 every week. I like shea given. I know you do. I'm going to say it is shea given problem. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shea given you after shows? You need to stop. Whoa! I got given Shea given. Yeah. Yeah. I had to see a therapist about it. <laughs> hey, You've been on the Zogby a lad. What the fuck? What happened on Tuesday? Anybody know? Something. Uh, we did, we did something. something that um, changed the world again. Yeah. There's no one ever really. I mean, everyone's done it probably at some point in their life. We managed to make some of the most talented comedians in UK comedy do a shift that most people do for about £12 an hour. And it was magic. Wasn't it? Everyone just had a really good shift. So yeah. um, <laughs> next, month's, <laughs> next month's Patreon special is a Have A Word pod takeover of one of the best restaurants in Liverpool, Luban. And um, we staffed it entirely with us and all our fucking legend mates. And I can't believe how amazing the atmosphere was. My Best mate, cocktail bar in the city that night. My mate asked, my mate Ma Matthew asked how it was the next day. And you know, when you type in something and you're like, oh, it's, it's not easy to put your finger on exactly what we did or what it was. It was amazing and difficult and kind of stressful. And there was moments where every one of those comedians or all of us had a moment where we weren't doing a patron special. You were trying to be good at the job. Yeah. yeah. I was totally. fucking around hosting until there was a queue of 20 people, a queue at the bar. And I'm like, oh my God, if I don't sort this out, this is going wrong. It was, <laughs> it was fucking great. And Kane Brown said to me at one point, he went, you can't. You tricked me. Yeah. I'm fucking working, innit? it? <laughs> Brilliant. But then like, an hour later, he came over and he was buzzing because he was like, I get it. He's, he's like, when he's I go to a it. restaurant and I'm waiting on the food, he's like, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to smash it. He's like, I get it, no. And then he fucking smashed it. He was like MVP, wasn't he? You yeah. guys were on the bar. You look like you were having the fucking time of your fucking life. Fucking hell, mate. That was a shift. Yeah. That was, there was a three and a half three hour hours, period yeah. where we didn't stop. Yeah. Like, I, I for, a for a second. There was a 13 minute period where I was nonstop. And after that, it chilled out a bit. Yeah. yeah. We worked our little bum holes off. Great though. Yeah. Learned that cocktail spec sheet within about 25 minutes. Yeah, that's it. If you do that, if you learn, if you make 50 of them every 10 minutes. Steve was amazing. Steve was actually my manager that night. Without <laughs> Steve, I'd have really <laughs> fucked that up. He helped seat everyone. Everyone that was serving, like just watching Daniel Sloss with three, four hundred thousand <laughs> Instagram followers and four Netflix specials. Two Netflix specials and one on HBO. Yeah. Oh yeah, that guy. He was a waiter. When's he going to get the chance to do that? He can never do that ever again. Oh, he loved it. He can't go into a restaurant and go, can I have a job? Because he go, what, you're Daniel Sloss. Just watching Kai Humphreys try and do a shift of he actual was work he when was he was so, so stoned. So as well. was so, he was so stoned. It's like he's being racially insensitive with his face. He's like, fucking There was many struggling. people on the show given that night. Lots of staff had different narcotics. Really? Yeah. yeah, not on the shea. On the shea? No, not on the shea. No, not on the no. shea. No. Boogie, candles, boogie candles, mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Like, lots of stuff were inebriated the that night. There was a bit of shiitake going around. Yeah. Shiitake? Yeah. On the shiitake. On the shite? <laughs> I was on the Lon on Blanc, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the white stuff. <laughs> Fucking. Um, Me and Carl had approximately 15, 16 shots. And none of them hit me until I had my first pint of Guinness. I was so sober. It was I thought weird. you were about to say, none of them hit me, full stop. No. You and but, you, were, you were like, doop, doop. It was so fun. When we were in Luban, though, I felt sober. And the second we walked into Pogues and I had a bit of a Guinness, I was like, I'm hammered already. We didn't have a chance. We didn't, our bodies didn't allow us to get drunk. It's like, oh, you, you're working hard, yeah. It was Adrenaline, weird. Literally, five shots of plantain pineapple rum. And then at least 10 baby Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. And a tequila. So we all went to we all went to Pogues, and then we went to Teddy's. And Teddy's was quiet for the first time since... When did we first go to Teddy's? When I think it was after the Cinco de Mayo lock-in. It's a Tuesday you in October, isn't it? <laughs> it's a Tuesday in October. But honestly, every, every time we've ever been, it's been banging. So I walked in, I was like, Teddy's is broken. <laughs> and everyone was in a good mood. But I was like, oh, I, I really had the... I wanted to have a, a proper fun night out and a bit of a dance. And we had a really nice gang, like Ishan's out, uh, like Daniel, Kai, Lauren Patterson was on great form. We had such a good gang of all of us. And there was this wonderful moment when I sort of the realisation of what, what I had to do. Because you never do this anymore because you know I'm so anti-pop world and I'm so pro-teddies because it's indie music and it's bands rather than pop. 
I just sort of looked across the bar. Adam was sort of like on the bar, a little bit drunk. And I was like, lad, we've got to go to Pop World. And the, the beaming <laughs> smile, like, can we go Pop World? He's like, yes! <laughs> it, was, it was so good. And then Will carried me home because I was so oh, drunk yeah, that yeah. I couldn't stand up. Shout out to, was it Stu and Chloe from Worcester who were just two random lids who had had a table at the bar, managed to be in Pogues at the right time, said hello, didn't pester me, so I went and talked to them. And as we were going to Teddy's, I was like, let's come on, come, come to Teddy's. And they were like, is that allowed? Is that all right? Is that okay? And they managed to, it was almost like they paid for the VVVIP tour. <laughs> they were in Pop World at the end. They were like having the best time. They were like, I can't believe it. We love the pod. And we've had like access all areas all night. It very rarely happens, but we're just two really sound lids. You saw that all night though, especially in the restaurant. You you nailed it at the end. You were like, for us, it was, it was a, a weird experience. But for them, that's like a memory that they'll have. Yeah. Yeah. No, for, for me, it'll invaluable. be a memory. I, I, I think I said it going into the day. You could sense. Like, it's been dead busy for me at the tour. Even Monday was hammered. I woke up on Tuesday morning and it was like, oh, this is what we're doing today. And you're like, you knew it was going to be something unlike anything you'd ever done before. And maybe, I mean, maybe there's a chance we do something again. Like, But you might never do it again. I think even for us... Just walking into a restaurant. There was one point when I walked in, Steph Johnson, Kane Brown, Kai Humphreys, Daniel Sloss, Lauren Patterson, and Vittoria were flying around. I can see Ishan in the kitchen. I've just walked past you two. You're singing. Steve's flying around. You're like, I just had that moment of like, this is insane. And then, <laughs> se and then 70 lids. It's more just ridiculous sat around than eating the amazing arena. food. Like the food was brilliant. And then your dolly whinging at me because we're not seated. <laughs> It was this amazing thing. Like there was a couple of like VIPs who were like Dolly and Luke, who you'd gone, oh yeah, come down. And like Slutty Susie, because Johnny oh Bongo was God, in the I, kitchen. You pointed except, at me, then. except. What? The, he pointed at me and used the S for Slutty. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but I hadn't got any seats for them. So the, the very actual VVIPs didn't get sat. Cause I was like, I have nowhere to sit anyone. So we had to just hustle. But it was just an amazing moment going, what is this? Like, what was that? Fucking a stupid incredible. idea that Carl had in Edinburgh just come to life. Brilliant. Yeah, it was f phenomenal. Oh. We will do it again. We absolutely will do it again. Yeah, it's going to have to be at least a year though, innit? Yeah, and we'll shuffle it about. Maybe me and Adam in the kitchen this time, which won't be fun. Head chef. Have you seen them Karen diners? Yeah, yeah and Adam, I think they're a bit fucking hard. What's that? I don't think yeah. it'd be good for Karen us. Karen diners nah. where all the staff are, are purposefully rude. rude. I had a gimmer. She someone got upset last week because he was bald and she was like, oh, shut up your bald cunt or something. He complained. To, was like, to what? He complained to like the media like, oh, you know, it's body shaming. It's like, don't go there then. Yeah, no one's ready to stick up for the baldies yet. Even me who's a baldy. Just get over it. Also, he was bald, so you can't be offended by something that's true, can you? Yeah. Yeah, mm. you, I think you can, yeah. No. Yeah, it's not the hair fault of he's bald. I think, yeah, I think you can. Because if you're fat and someone goes, you're fat, you're allowed to be like, that's offensive. No, but it's true, isn't it? It'd be more offensive if I called, like, Finn fat, because he isn't. You're fat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm bald. Yeah. I'm bald. I'm fat. Well, let's, Got let's, a weird eye. Like, but, I hey, can't. But, Carl, you look great today. Oh, thank you. You look, I know, yeah. you know. Yeah. You look really good. And headphones are uh, framing your face really nicely. Oh, nice one. Stunning. Thanks. Maybe I'll stop Just bathing. a very good-looking guy. So are you. And also, a, a good person. Thank you. Yeah. Good and morals. That, yeah, good morals. Yeah. Oh. A good friend. I bet, he's got, good I bet he's got a right back. weapon as well, hasn't he? He's got a dick on him, hasn't he? I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't it's, it's just a, it's a normal dick. <laughs> like, it's not like, oh, that's smaller. Oh, it's massive. Like, oh, that, that's a good dick. Yeah. yeah. Is it quite dark? It, it's darker than me. I've saw this before. It's darker than the outer <laughs> parts of my body. I have a browner dick than I do <laughs> legs. That's, we've said that before. Yeah. I do as well, but that's because in the summer I go sunbathing, but I have all my clothes on, but I have my cock out because I want a brown cock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When it's that big, it, you know, it's. Just it wear needs a morph look. suit with a hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> Lads, that morph suit really brings out your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going on the sunbeds fully dressed with your cock out your zip. Uh, you weren't yeah. there for the early episode where Dan told us when he goes on sunbeds he puts a sock on his cock. No, I did listen to it though. Yeah. I wasn't that amazed. Like, it's not that uncommon. Is it not? No, he's just trying to protect Can't his car. Can't burn your dick. Yeah. 
I mean, I don't go on some beds anymore, but when I was trying to look after my, my psoriasis, it's probably not the way to do it. The way to do it is to be abroad and get really good, like, yeah, sea salt sleep. and vitamin D, but uh, a sunbed sort of help. But, yeah, I just don't think your dick is ready for that level of tanning, is it? My little my little mole of a dick, like, what the fuck? Yeah, your dick doesn't see the sun ever, really, does it? Oh, unless you, you know. Mine does. Adam does. He goes to dick to dick beaches. Just <laughs> fucking lies it out <laughs> in the <laughs> balcony. <laughs> you get some sun. I'm going to go and clean the flat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the patches are cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh I need God. a holiday, you know. I haven't had a holiday this year. You have. We went to Spain and sat on the beach. That's not a holiday, though, is it? We were filming the entire time. Yeah, it's it not so a holiday. Oh, it was a nightmare. <laughs> that, that, that two days on the beach, <laughs> filming, constant filming. <laughs> Just can't relax. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? No, you've had a holiday this year. You've had two. I'm going on two next week. I know. I need what a holiday. holiday have I had. You went, you went to, to Spain Manca, on your Manca own. Loof on your own. Oh yes! I take it back. I've I had a holiday. fucking great trip. I want to go and stay in like a seven-star hotel in Jamaica for a week or something. Cool. <laughs> on your own. You can't yeah. go on your own. You yeah. said you don't want to go on I think you have to build a seven-star hotel in Jamaica. No, Jamaica's got some fucking absolute. I gaps, thought. Mate, I, thought the, um, I thought the. I thought the DJ Khaled Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa. What's it called? What? It's behind you. Oh, no, it's not Waz Khalifa. The Waz Khalifa. Yeah. The Jazz Ka- Khalifa. <laughs> yeah. The, the Jazz Kabaja. The boogie candle of the Middle East. The Jack Grealish. What? It, I thought that was in, Khalifa. yeah, in Dubai. Yeah. I thought that was the only seven star hotel. No, no. no, no. They've oh. been lost no, you've now. been oh, there? Yeah. It, probably the first. Oh, okay. Is there a, the, the, Jamaica's not got a seven star. It's a 16. Yes, star. it has, man. Mm, <laughs> they gave us four with added three. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not having a white man tell me how many stars I give me in my own fucking hotel. <laughs> it's true, the ball, it? <laughs> I just want to go out to a gaff and just relax for a week, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, just yeah. Uh, You've been saying that. Take the weight off me bollocks and just enjoy me. <laughs> hey! You haven't got to. Go to Jamaica. Man, get your bollocks out. <laughs> I'll get the whole team out to carry them. <laughs> this is how you get the extra stars, boys. <laughs> Lift up that big dick. My God. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might uh, try and disappear for a week in November or something. You've been saying this for two years and you never do it because you know. can't be asked booking it. You just on your own? Yeah. Oh. Bit of serendipity, I think. What? Bit of serendipity. You? Serenity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the there you go. You're going to fuck Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, okay. nice reference. Thank you. Nice. Um, I'm going to the Middle East next week and Venice. <laughs> What? I'm going to Abu Dhabi and Venice next week. You're going to miss me. Same trip? It's essentially the same trip. Um, you're going to Venice for the UFC? <laughs> yeah, there's a Venice card. <laughs> <laughs> that would be lovely, by the way. <laughs> the well, I hope you have fun. Not enough Italian. Can I come to Venice with you? I'm not sure Selic would be happy with that. You got to. It's already right, the apology holiday because I'm going to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> the apology holiday. Sticking on Patreon. Yeah. Um, so you've had to go to Venice with your last. Because so me and Steve are going to Abu Dhabi for the UFC. With, you, with your other girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, well, wh- wh- what do I get? I was like, Carl, oh, Venice. you really need to be a bit more respectful of when these half terms and holidays are for your teacher partner, okay? I know. What, Nashville next year, maybe? <laughs> Good. Nashville oh, that we yeah. booked. Yeah. When Laura, Laura's face, when she was like, that's in Easter. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good. Good for you. We You're both the- welcome, by the way. You don't have to put up with those two fucking whinging at you while they've got a week off. Good point. I booked it. <coughs> Venice. Good so Venice and um, Venice for you know just couple time. Yes. Oh, we're going to go to Florence and Verona as well. Ooh. Little day trips out. Nice. If you want to try and fuck in every city. I mean, yeah, you, when you're all these, what you're doing, eh? Right. We're trying to do every continent. I think we haven't got South America yet. What's going on with Venice at the moment? Is it's suffering a lot of flooding, and they're trying to put a tourist tax no, on it? That's it's always like that. Venice is always like that. that it's purposely made with water and gondolas and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I understand. It's a bit wet lately. <laughs> no, but I mean, when the water rises, then when you're meant to stand, that's get fl- that gets flooded. That's not how it's meant to be. Oh, I thought you'd just seen a picture of Venice and thought it's not meant Fucking to be like no. that. That cycle path's fucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some cunt on a gondola. No, but it's like they get around on boat, don't they? They have like boat taxis and that. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But I think it's... Oh, is it having a, having problems with flooded. Oh, I and they, they, there's so many tourists going. They're trying to uh, like ban tourists, basically. 
even though it's a massive part of the. I think it's getting to the point where it's there's too many. They're bringing their own water and ah, oh, that makes sense. People are sweating into the rivers. Yeah, but people propose a lot in Venice, and tears. then the women start crying, and it's flooding. Is that the flooding? That's what it is. I yeah. like it. Yeah. And then they get wet as well because they've been proposed to and they just fucking squares everywhere and it's just... <laughs> they do! They yeah. do! There's That's Venice how all proposals go. of happy square and women. <laughs> and it's becoming oh, a real problem God. for the Drink tourist me. board. Drink me, lad. Yeah. Is that what happens? Is that how you see your proposal going? <laughs> of this unnamed lady? This uh, this Ruth. future... This future... Hottie. <laughs> Ruth? Ruth. <laughs> Struth. Yeah. Ruth Rowe. Ruthie Rowe. <laughs> Right. So if you meet a lady. A lady! And you propose to her, mm. do you expect her to cry then squirt? Yeah. I'd be fucking fuming if she didn't do at least one of them. Right. Clothed? What? Can can you... Can you square your clothes on? Basically, you're just wetting yourself, aren't you? It's piss anyway, isn't it? Piss. Yes. Swear it is piss. <laughs> Comes out the urethra. We're back here again. <laughs> it is, yeah, but I, I still like her. 10%. Magic. <laughs> Lady magic. All right, cool. Can we have your proposal on Patreon, please? No. Oh, okay. Apology holiday and then UFC. No, other way around. All oh, right, okay. So it lands at midnight from Abu Dhabi and then we go to Venice at 6 a.m. So I'm just going to wait in the airport for a couple of hours and go on all day again. Heathrow? Uh, no, Manchester. Oh, nice. We fly from Heathrow and fly back to Manchester. And who's fighting in the UFC? Oh, Big wait, wait, one. Fighting. Oliveira the is fighting oh. Makachev. Makachev. Makachev? Yeah. Is that how he says it? Because it sounds like you're saying it wrong. No, Makachev's in the prelims. Makachev is in the main event. I can't yes. wait for Makachev, Makachev. Uh, in the co-main, which is also a title fight, is Algerman Sterling versus TJ Dillashaw. Algerman? Algerman Sterling, yeah. Algerman Sterling? Yeah. You've made that up. That's not a real... No, he's the champ. Algerman Sterling? Yeah. TJ he's the champ till he ain't the champ no more. TJ Dillashaw, I've actually heard of. Yeah. In the third fight, which is my with my boy, Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Piotr Jan. I'm going there. He's the non-binary one with all the hair. I'm not sure he's non-binary, but yeah. He has got but all non-binary, really. No one's a full man anymore. Bilal Muhammad's fighting. I can't remember. Who's, is it that huge? Bilal Muhammad. Yeah. It's a fucking stacked. It's, it's the honestly like the UFC are doing what the fucking wrestling did in the 80s. Bilal Muhammad, the crazy jihadist against crazy non-binary Sugar Sean O'Malley. He'd lose that. Which gender is he today? Uh, but yeah, unbelievable card, and we're going to be there live, baby. All right, cool. I couldn't be asked with the fly for that. Yeah, we we there's two stops on the way home, and I'm going to fly again. Albania is one of them. <laughs> what? Do you know what? Italy is one of the stops. What? What? And I'm so I'm flying to Italy, flying home, and I'm flying back to Italy. Who are you flying with? That has to stop in Albania. Stay booked. In. Stay. <laughs> How cheap were these flights? Were they weirdly cheap? Yeah. They were quite cheap. Like, yeah, we just stay in Albania. 80 quid good. round trip to Abu Dhabi. Well, that is cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. That's less than a bag of fucking shite. shite? shite? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get on the shite in Abu Dhabi? I think you go to prison, don't you? No. Well, I don't do it in England, so do it where it's more illegal is probably not a good idea. <laughs> I'd just recommend it. I'm not going to have sex with any men either. It's illegal there. Well... Yeah. It's illegal everywhere for you. In your mind. Um, but no, it's going to be fire. I'm so excited. All right, cool. We've got great seats. You'll see us on the telly. We, you'll see our flags. Oh, I will, yeah. I'll be looking out for you. <laughs> 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 we, do you want to come to mine and we'll stay up for it? Well, I just assumed. Yeah. <laughs> it's just assumed we were there. What? Isn't it an early one here? It is an early one here, but stay up. What time? Like what? 7 o'clock, isn't it, start? 7 a.m.? Yeah, like here. No, 7 p.m., isn't it? Oh, oh is it? Oh, yeah, 7 p.m.? I'm pretty sure it's a... Oh, it's you'll a see us on planning. Get to yours at half six. Is it the 22nd? Yeah. I'm in Nottingham. Oh, shit. Well, I'll come to Nottingham and watch it there. <laughs> you'll see me on the telly. We've got flags. We'll have a Sugar Sean O'Malley flag and a Have A Word flag. So when they show the Sugar flag, you'll see the Have A Word flag. We're going to be international, baby. Oh, okay. Moves. Right. And what, no flag for Shim Shim Salabin. What was he called? Shim Shim Salabin. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Can you design the Shim Shim Salabin flag, please? Shim Get Shim Salabin. Bilal Muhammad. Bilal Muhammad. I don't, like, I, don't like, I, don't like, I don't like him. And he's also not fighting in a big fight. Oh, okay, cool. Let's have a break, hey? Let's have a break. Love the UFC. Great game. Ofka.
What's happening, Lids and Lidettes? It's Adam here. I'm here to tell you about our sponsor, BetterHelp.com. If you go to BetterHelp.com slash Word10, you'll get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. And I might have just heard one of you ask there, what is BetterHelp? BetterHelp is essentially a way to get therapy online. Don't have to leave your house. You don't have to go through all the anxiety of going to a, a therapist office. You sign up within uh, 24 to 48 hours. They sign you up with they, they match you up uh, with a with a counselor who is tailored to specifically what you need the type of therapy you need you're not just going to get matched with someone who doesn't really know how to help you now you know we've we've all been through bad times where we're focusing on problems instead of solutions when you learn to find your own solutions there's no better feeling than that and better help can actually help you get there um i know a lot of people who've used better help uh, and they tell me it's a lot better than actually going to therapy as a lot of you will know dan has been in therapy this year People don't speak, people can't speak any higher of getting help for your mental health. It's a big topic of conversation at the minute. Uh, and better help of giving you a way to get yourself sorted without ever having to leave your home. So do yourself a favor, go to betterhelp.com slash word10. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash W O R D 1 0. You get 10% off your first month. Get signed up. Get matched up with a therapist that is specialised to your needs. And sort your head out. We all need a bit of help up there. Go and get yours sorted. Nice one. We are back with the second section of this week's public episode of Have A Word Podcast. I'm DJ Dan Nightingale, and I'm here with Wacky Adam. Bing bong. Nope, not the energy you (laughs) want to do. Not feeling that. We're tired. I'll just do it normal. Yeah. I'll just do it normal. Um, Just do what we always do instead of fucking about. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Okay. Good. Good. You know what I mean? Should have stayed in run then. No. That was broke. (laughs) Run was was broke. Run was was so broke. Took my shoes off. We need to move out of there, by the way. Yeah, we do. Took my shoes off. Jack was walking around with no shoes on and I got jealous of him, so. You shouldn't have your shoes on in the studio anyway. You know what I mean? Sacred place. Make sure you get a good close up on my face here. We'll just, I'm not moving. Where is Jack? Oh, yeah. Lad. Uh, the Jack. Comedians Club Chester have just announced the um, the lineups for January, February, April, uh, and March. I don't know why I did it in that order. <laughs> um, but November 26th is the next one. My tour show is on November the 19th in the St. Mary's Creative Space in Chester. There are about 50 tickets left for the afternoon show. The evening show is sold out. We're filming it. Big Willie Dick Willie is coming to do it as a Taping special. Taping a little special out of there, boy. A special. And then the week after, we've got a phenomenal lineup of Sean McLaughlin, Lou Conran, and Carl Donnelly oh, with shit. me oh, hosting. And the crowd there um, are amazing. They're all lids. They're all comedy fans. Finn Taylor and Nick Doody we fucking loved it we last don't time. don't show the bottom of our feet on our podcast. It's quite rude. Um, so if you could go on comediansclubchester.com, the link will be in the description. Buy some tickets to November. January is Mick Ferry. There is a very special guest in, uh, in February who you will love. Um, it's me. Of course. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 I was trying to be dead professional because you were like, yeah, unlisted. I was like, I, I was just about sell fucking rolls back at, uh, coming in uh, February. I'm going to come and do, I'll, I'll be doing pretty much new stuff like um, March is Mark Nelson and April is Andy Askins. We have got some big dogs. I was trying to be all, I was trying to be all respectful. Oh, cheers, Liz. It's funny. Um, Adam and Alfie are on in uh, February, so that'll sell out <laughs> pretty quick. Uh, but November's going to be a banger as well, so I'd like to see you there. I'm very proud of that. I'm looking forward to, to for you to see it. It's really nice. I'm coming in November. You're coming in November? To your show. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's tell them everything. Yeah. Cool. And I'm gay now. Um, <laughs> so. Um, I can't believe I haven't podcasted like this from the beginning. This is so comfortable. Now, feet up on podcast, bottom of shoes, quite rude. No. I don't we shit. don't do that. I break customs here. Make my own. Feet on the table. Cain and Abel. <laughs> Pop and down. Um, <laughs> you, if you, you look like you could nap. Like, your feet are so Take high Take them up. off the table. You've got to hold them out of your sock as well. I don't give a flying fuck. They don't smell. I thought they... they I had a shower just before I... I had a shower just before I came smell in. Smell is just dried sweat. You shouldn't smell in the morning unless you put old clothes on. <laughs> like, you, sweat doesn't smell. It's just sweat that's dried and got wet again. That's what smell is. Is it? Yeah. 
sweat doesn't smell unless it's dried. Really? Yeah, so if you put an old T-shirt on, you know, oh, that stinks because the sweat's getting wet again. Yeah. So what happens with BO? Is that not a bit of hormones under... It's the same. You haven't washed the sweat off your body. All right, okay, cool. It's going to be re-wet again. Re-wet. <laughs> re-wet! Um, should we do some questions? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Should Take we your s- legs off the table. Should no? do, should the fact spe- that it's doing your editing means the it's same. It's not. Eh? It's doing their editing. It's rude. Oh, shit. Sorry for Adam's rudeness. My fucking podcast. Speed mate. round? Yes. Or do you want to do a slow round? He looks. You look too relaxed for a speed round. Sounds. Uh, look, I'm doing me. You do you. Yeah, we I don't tell you not to sit there fucking what? looking like a big stupid cunt, do I? So just you do you and I'll do me. Oh. Right, you keep you sitting there looking like a big stupid cunt then. You cool. look really nice, Carl. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Don't look stupid. Oh, babe. Dead clever. Love you. Clever? <laughs> <laughs> you look that clever? You look like a small, vole, German sex offender. What, you're you building me up? Well, I know, but you can't put them glasses on. Well, no one's building you up there, are they? Buttercup. Come on, questions. James Hall. No, Jordan says, Wagwag mates, is there such a thing as... Jordan as in like Casey Price? Yeah, Casey Price <laughs> says, Wagwag mates, oh. is there such a thing as too imbalanced of a show lineup? Never thought about this much as it's never stood out before, but saw Adam smash it opening a local Tory school recently. <laughs> yeah. Despite some audience members missing the punchline. What? Uh, with Sean Walsh closing. Middle Act was a completely different energy theme vibe, whatever, and it seemed to work against her. Understanding following one of the best in the UK can't have been easy. <laughs> All right, Jordan. Does a promoter have a duty to ensure acts are similar enough they can bounce off each other and the crowd, or is it just a rare, unfortunate middle spot? Um, um, well, <laughs> lad. So, so, where was the school before you answer? Yum. Where's the school? Oh, yam. Yeah, okay, cool. Now I remember the gig, yeah. Um, the middle act has not been doing stand-up very long. Right, okay. The middle act was Fiona Allen from Smack the Pony, mm. which is a sketch show that I fucking loved growing up, and she was great, really sound. But she's, like, she did well. She was good, but she's in the middle of me and Sean Walsh. She's just inexperienced. Yeah. And that's where the middle act goes. It's just the, the, the way it is. Like, I, I, I prefer being on a really balanced bill where the acts are quite different. I think that's always better when you get sort of a mixed bag, and that doesn't always work. Sometimes the acts can be so similar, and I think by the end of it, it's just a bit meh. Yeah, I see. Um, I've been on bills where you're like, ah, I know what you've done. You've gone, ah, oh, they're all great. And then you're like, yeah, we are all great, yeah. but it would be well better if you had a bit of contrast. I think and I'm hot, not. I think even, hot water even age, a bit like that, style, like we're talking about sexuality, gender, opinion, style, like whatever. Contrast works so much better than same guy, same guy, same. I remember being on bills in Newcastle at the Hyena, and it was booked by a lady called Yvonne, and she booked brilliant acts, but sometimes it looked like she'd pick the names out of a bag, and you'd have three compares on the same bill of three headliners with someone going like you'd have a bill that was so strong and it would be like who is going to compare it though Steve Hughes is like I can't compare I'm a fucking headliner I can do a set opening it, that put, putting a bill to better Putting a bill together is such an important part of promo- with the comedians club I've, we've done three so far one I got it wrong and it showed I felt it in the night you told me, yeah. Yeah. Um, it is important. And I, I do think you get on bills sometimes where it's very samey. Like, if there's any criticism of hot water, it's that sometimes I look at the bill and go, yeah, everyone's going to smash it. But they're all similar acts. The store used to be really bad for it, and they've had a complete overhaul in their booking policy over the past sort of three or four years because there was a time where you looked on the website and every photograph was a white man in a suit. Yeah. And doing a sort of aging style of comedy. And some of those guys were brilliant. Other guys were like, yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, they're really, they've, they've tried to sort that out, haven't they? There's a yeah. lot more contrast. So it's I sound- did the Cardiff Glade the weekend and I was headlining. Got Emmanuel Sanubi in the middle. Just separate us, put, a, put him on next week. Because Emmanuel is a closer. Like he smashes it. He destroys the place. And I'm like, there'll be weeks at the Glade. Where there's no one who's really a circuit headliner. They've all done a bit of telly, so they're getting club work. But Emmanuel and me should not be on the same bill when yeah. one of us is in the middle. Yeah, it's just a, it's a waste. <laughs> it's a waste of a genuine fucking murderer of a comic. It's like um, you know I've had a lot of compliments. I'm sure you've got about, uh, from promoters that have done the doing the tour. 
loads of promoters going, well done for, for booking good support acts. Yeah. Because I've turned up with Ishan or Vittorio. Because so many people are turning up with, with shite support. Yeah, because they don't want to follow anyone good. It's, there's it's a weird, a- there's weird like, <laughs> there's a balance in that to get right. You need a bit of contrast, but you also need someone to still be able to do a job. I always just book support acts who I think are going to smash it. Or someone but I want to hang out with. But yeah, and also don't step on your style. Well, like, yeah, I wouldn't book Freddie or Simon Wozniak to open for me. Yeah. You can't hear the same joke twice, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to paint a picture. Um, Joe Johnson says... Oh, Jojo. Oh, no, but don't actually touch me. I was dead supportive about the feet thing until you actually fucking touched me. I want an Ottoman, Finn. Order me an Ottoman. Uh, Wag Wag Lids. Awesome. Joe Johnson says, Wag Wag Lids, seeing as Halloween spooky season is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween yes. spooky season. Can't wait for Halloween. Oh. Which horror film do you think you'd have the best chance at surviving? I haven't seen any, so I don't know. You love Halloween, but you don't like scary films. No, I love women dressing like slutty Greg's workers, but I th- yeah, the films aren't for me. You've been some weird fucking Halloween parties. <laughs> Who's, just who's been late. to Slutty Greg's? <laughs> you just rip the pants of a Greg's uniform, don't you? Yeah, put a bit of blood on your face. Ooh, get to ours, Sheila. Oh, you know, I didn't know what Greg's were doing Halloween in February. Oh, no, it's just Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> she looks dirty as fuck. I'm not into Halloween, me. Uh, any fancy dress is just... No, but that's abs- not... No, but you're seeing Halloween is just sexy women. <laughs> it is, though! <laughs> That's all it is. It's not. It's children going around dressed yeah, as Yeah, I don't go looking children. at them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go looking at them. I just go to nightclubs and pair with the fucking women who are like, look at my tits and my bum hole. And also, I'm so like the character not like in pain. Oh. And you're like, I love Halloween. <laughs> and then there's another one going, I just work at Greg's. Because <laughs> usually- I've, I've come straight from work. <laughs> I've come straight from work. Yeah, you can't usually see tits in town. It's only on Halloween they come out. Halloween's fantastic. Do you like like a dead like a dead bride? Do you like what is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You've got like blood all over the face and that yeah. turns you on. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. And if she's got a pasty with her <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, a pasty in a woman's hand makes her sexier a hundred percent of the time. There's no situation <laughs> in which a woman holding a steak bake is not more attractive than without it. Funeral. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, Northern oh, Pornhub uh, One massive dick And a fucking <laughs> steak bait oh, oh, fucking You've never had one So you wouldn't know No the, I don't want the woman To eat the pasty That's for me Right She's brought me a pasty And she wants to fuck me The cock's oh. for her The pasty's for him You've yeah. got to be a dirty girl To want the flakes Of a steak bait Falling on your face As someone's munching Ooh, it Well They were bars She's sucking you off They were bars <laughs> That's hell, dirty Someone make that into a rap Oh my god do you like Halloween, Dan? You've got kids, you must love Halloween. Yeah, I see it slightly differently to Adam in a less sort of horny way. Like, oh yeah, I love that fucking, I love all them kids going around dressed up. No, that's not what I said, is it? No, you you literally made Halloween purely sexual. Because it is. There is other layers to Halloween. Yeah, if you've got kids and you've fucking ruined your life by having children, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sad bars. <laughs> I don't want like, oh, look at this Kit Kat. It's got blood all over it, flavours. Like, no. Do you know what Just I mean? don't eat them. No, but like, it's... it's they still sell regular yeah, you Kit you like most festivals. You, you're into most stuff, aren't you? Like, this is a weird little... Yeah, I don't What's know what Halloween is. done? Because you'd no, make a phenomenal Count Dracula, by the way. I don't like scary. Scary? Oh. <laughs> 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 I eat oranges all the time. I don't like sca- <laughs> like scary. Like, scared, like <laughs> just, nah. All right, like just, <laughs> Christmas is just lovely. Isn't Do you? Um, I can't wait for Christmas. You exactly. Know, put me straight up. No, no. Yeah. What, what about the Christmas tits for Christmas? Yeah, but oh, I'm telling you right now, a woman dressed as fucking Mrs. Claus with a fucking steak bake. <laughs> <laughs> that That's famous the fucking oh lad. What have you got? Any fans? Sant- we've talked Santa's about this sack. at length. Goths love Halloween. Real people love Christmas. That's a fact. You can like both. They're at different no, times like, of the year. They're not competing. Like a little bit of you are going to compete. So do you uh, do you get some sweets out for the? Because now you're a homeowner. This is your. Fir- Don't is call them your- that. Twenty twenty two. Um, you own, you own a uh, house. This is the first time I'll have had my own home for the. So are you going to do the bucket of? Yeah. Of course I am. 
Like I'm, that, for kids, go for it. Oh, see, I, you know, I, I thought you were going to be... Don't, I don't want Hocus Pocus. I'm knocking at yours good. for sweets, mate. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love you to. You're going to be dressed up, though. Yeah, you won't even know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> What are you I think I will because there'll be a Range Rover <laughs> with the keys to the ignition outside me. Parked in a disabled spot. It'll be there two seconds. Getting his, getting his Greg's outfit on. It's not, it's not me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I just go and get us a fucking bag of smack in the back there, a bag of shite. That's what they want. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great for Halloween. Give kids just Yeah, shite. that's what we used to do growing up in fucking Naughty Ash. Just give our bags a shite. The kids had come up with a fucking Uzi. Hey, mister, trick or treat, I'll blow your fucking dick off. Have you seen yeah, them yeah, things like every year? They're like, be careful. People are giving out uh, ecstasy disguised as smarties. <laughs> no, they're not. It's damn expensive. Liar. We on a boat. Liar. People One keep... lad, I, I, I might have told you this story before. We knocked on his house and he didn't have any sweets. We were like, can we have some eggs instead? And uh, he gave us some, so we egged his house. Yeah, but he's a moron, though, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're going to need guns, so that's how that went down. Yeah, for kids. I love it when people whinge about that. I think, I listen, I just think the government needs to step in and do something about it. These kids are out of control on Halloween. It's Fright Night well, and it's dangerous. Before. You're like, shut the fuck Mystery up. Night. I'm going to do Mystery Night this year. Busy night. Yeah. Busy fucking pussy old. Do you never do Mystery Night? No, I live in fucking Sorgo. Yeah, I've made about it until last year, Abby. Oh, here we go. Here's a fucking mizzy night, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking fact. The purge. The purge. Dovecot. Fucking murdered 12 people. <laughs> and the busies are like, did you just kill 12 people, Adam, with your dick? Yeah, I did. But it's mizzy night. Can't do nothing. That's <laughs> true. Have you, do you, have you never done mizzy night? What? You know, he hasn't. Are we educating him about mizzy night last year? Mizzy night is, was, not now, I'm a homeowner. Should we do mizzy night this, this year, me and you? I think we'd be quite visible. So? Okay. Where are the skies? We'll, no, do, all do, we'll do a Mizzy Night Patreon special. We're just going to batter people. <laughs> in oh, this is better that than my be dreams. A great Patreon special, by the way. Mizzy, the Mizzy Night special. Us just going around fucking Page Moss, egging our houses. Oh, mate. Where? where? Page, Page Moss. Moss. Page Moss? Yeah, it's where Ross Kemp went on gangs. All right. Talk about the beef between Page Moss and Dudley. It does sound like a porn star. I wasn't allowed it? to step foot in Page, Page Moss as a kid. Page Moss. For fear of being fucking offed. Oh, the gangs. Yeah. Because you were, hang on, let me remember. The Noggy Dogs. No, no. Norris Green. No, sorry, Norris Green. I was Green. a Dovey Head. You Dovey Head. No. He was? I was a Dovey Head. No. Yeah. I was a bad of soap, mate. Fucking Dovey Head. <laughs> it won't dry your skin. It'll just fucking take it off. Yeah. Page Moss. I couldn't go to Page Moss when I was Page a kid. Moss. Was, moss she sounds man. like she's got great tits. No, they were the Moss Men. Page Moss. The Moss Men. Moss Gang, actually. Oh, was it? Mo I, we called them the Moss Men. Do this. Um, <laughs> the Page Turners. Moss Looks gang. like you need a new chapter in Moss your gang. life. Moss Gang. That's pages. what they do. They literally stand on Dovey Park, like front us. Moss Gang. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that on the roof? It's the Moss Gang. And they're getting off Moss. The asbestos. D. D. We just said D. Dovehead. Yeah. Did you have like a bar of Dove and like they get the wrapper off your mum and like glue it on your head? <laughs> Dovehead. No, we had self-respect. Did you, when you turned up to a fight, the Dove Heads, did you just release doves? No. Fucking hell. The pedo magicians here. No, it's the Dove Heads. <laughs> yeah, you know you're about to die when you see doves in the sky. <laughs> Bars. Bars. <laughs> Fucking hell. All the hard lads and then some divvy that looks after the doves. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing back there, Damo? Uh, look at Dove. Do it, Damo, Stop killing don't. the fucking doves. That's fucking, that's the... The yeah, it was bad tear for us as when, when we were younger. Was mom. it? Yeah. Couldn't go on page Moss? No. Couldn't go on page three? No. I was yeah. just from West Derby. What? I was just from West Derby. West Derby Village. It was just nice. Yeah, it was just quite nice. Yeah. yeah. We had, what you did know. you do on Mizzy Night? Oh, we went to other areas. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking travelled. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't there was a lad who was in prison from page Moss because he got sent to prison like over the beef between page Moss and Dovey, I think. And then when he came oh, out, was he? He, tr he, he tried to unite the communities. What? Yeah. He he wanted like peace talks between Duffy and Page Moss. I'm not even joking. Really? Yeah. Where was they? West Derby? Peace talks? No. No, no he came he to Duffy. Allowed. He came to Duffy literally and was walking into Duffy with his hands up. <laughs> with his, was he wearing the... No, he was just walking in. He was like, look, I'm not here to cause any trouble. And he, he met with the, the lads on Duffy shops and they negotiated the peace treaty. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was the Super Sunday agreement. <laughs> You have to respect how good it is and bullshit. <laughs> not Daniel. Daniel Nightingale, he is not lying. 
wire like it's the Good Friday peace agreement. No, Super Sunday it was. The fucking tea shop was that. <laughs> Bill Clinton came down West Derby shop. They shook, they shook <laughs> Kelly's yeah, wines no for two West hours. Oh, sorry, they shook shop. Kelly's wines for two hours. And <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. Yeah. I'm eating Kelly's yeah, yeah. wines. Everyone got a complimentary bag of shite. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh, feeling pretty fucking confident about these peace cheeses. <laughs> Have you never seen Ross Kemp on Gangs in the when he goes to the screen? They've all got three quarters on. Yeah. yeah. I've seen the clips. Yeah, well, it's the same where he lived, but they just didn't film it. Right. Is this near the amazing news agent that I loved when I went to uh, Dovey? It's not far from there. Oh. It's a different row of shops, though. That's Swan Side you went to. Oh, my God. Swan Side. Swan Side was like the place we dreamed of as kids. There's a lovely DIY shop there as well. Yeah. Best corner shop in the world, Swan Side. Yeah, so there's Peace Talk. Yeah. yeah. They shook Kelly's wines and the, the head of the Dovey, the Dovey heads and, and the lad from who I won't name. The boss man. Don't name. The Moss Men and Moss the Dubby Heads. Moss Gang, sorry. Sorry, Moss Gang. They showed Kelly's Wines and they were just stood in Kelly's Wines just empty talking for about two hours. And the two gangs were literally stood outside like protecting the door so they could, they could discuss like calling it a truce. Yeah. And Geneva was, Convention. And was, the Jews. Geneva Convention. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Versailles. What? <laughs> that was a treaty of old swan. The treaty <laughs> of Kelly's Wines. <laughs> Sounds like bollocks, but this actually happened. How old were you? <laughs> I oh. can't have been older than 15. No, I think I was like 14. Yeah, that was the first time you felt safe your whole life. <laughs> See, 14. Finn looks at me when he knows we're bullshitting, and he's just looked at me for the look of affirmation, and he's not bullshitting. <laughs> it's yeah, true. What? Yeah, this yeah, is for Kelly's wine sit down. <laughs> it was the sit ins. Oh, Kelly six. wines. <laughs> yeah. Kelly's wine sit down of 06. Just got a box of Chardonnay down. <laughs> box of rose. Just sat on it. Look at these Famous, they kept those boxes, didn't even sell them. It was an offer. They got a bag They a bag of monster munchies. Fucking worked it out. Disco is a good disco. So should we stop shooting each other? Yeah, yeah I was thinking the same thing. Did it work? Did it last? Yeah. It's been peace ever since. <laughs> not a bullet has been shot since. <laughs> oh, the, uh, not a drop of blood yeah. shed. The little the local school kids from St Mary Magdalene's <laughs> fucking Bernard Matthews came round <laughs> and just sang outside. Oh, we Saint are Bernard. saying is give peace a chance. <laughs> that was shite. What? Who's selling? Oh, sorry. Yeah, the song. <laughs> no selling today. Kelly's wines is closed. <laughs> Zip up your bags of shite. <laughs> this is a day for celebration. It was a we're, flying, we're flying the white flag, not doing the white powder. You know what I mean? <laughs> so get on that daz. Get on that fucking purse a lot. Have you heard the song today was a good day? There's one of them in Liverpool. I've lost a fart off, by the way. <laughs> it's August 4th. So Halloween, looking forward to it. <laughs> Speed round. <laughs> Clip it. Clip oh, I will all of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I don't think you can clip that because it actually happened. Yeah, I'm not going to put names in, am I? Uh, I, th I don't think you can clip that. I think it could get us a little bit of blowback. I'm not even messing. Shite back. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm clip. making that a clip. Clip it! I am. Clip it! You think what? Are we going to get cancelled by children 16 years ago? It yeah. wasn't just children. Oi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just children, it was Kelly. She was over 21, she had the license. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's wines are still there. It is. is it? Yeah. yeah. Do you see the plaque? <laughs> On this day. <laughs> On this day in 2006. August 4th, 2006. That's why all the tourists come to... <laughs> All the, all, the all the American tourists come, I want to see the Beatles Museum, <laughs> Kelly's wines. <laughs> it's amazing. And that's how they speak, because they're American. I keep thinking someone's at the door. It's really disconcerting. Because <laughs> we've got a mural of Ishan. Because we have got a mural on the wall of Ishan. But it's like a life-size. It is. <laughs> God, he's beautiful. He's like a nearly as attractive... What did I call him? <laughs> when were we gigging? I brought him on. I think he looks like a Bengali... Like a lion, isn't he? Beautiful. He's sexy. 
Um, great question. Speed round. <laughs> <laughs> Chris says, would you rather... Chris what? Chris says. <laughs> oh, please. What's he Turkish? Say? Says. Yeah, it's probably... <laughs> I think he's Moroccan. What's his email? Chris Says. At gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Says at gmail.co.moroc. Uh, says, would you rather meet your childhood hero and find out they're a boring fucker or meet someone you despise and everything they stand for, but in person you actually really like them? They haven't changed. You just get on. What would you rather? Who is, who's... I'd rather there be more joy in the world, so the latter. Yeah. I don't want to find out my childhood heroes. Are co- that's worse than finding out someone you think's a prick is sound. That's good news, isn't it? What's childhood? Like Gary Neville's sound. Yeah. And I'm fucking gutted that the Tories have made me like him. Yeah. He's actually not a bad guy. No, he just plays... Having said that, he game. is working for the Qatari-based football channel for the World Cup, which is as models go. Do you know what I mean? Right, yeah, but you're all going to be watching it, aren't you? So yeah. You're all sort of part of yeah, that bandwagon, Yeah, but there's bandwagon, a difference between watching it and working for the state-owned channel. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we saying childhood is? Like, formative years, like... Teenage years or well, like pre ten? No, I think it's pre Vicky Wines. You know, before the Peace Treaty. Oh, before they changed the name. Kelly's, Kelly's Wines. Ah, oh, there was a Vicky Wine round, round ours. Kelly's Wines. What are you yeah. saying? Like yeah, there was tear up between those two wine companies for a while. Vicky and Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch fight. <laughs> what's what's childhood? Und- Up till fourteen. Up until fourteen. Well, yeah. they, well, firstly, have any of you met a like a full on hero of yours yes. from growing up? Yes. And did they disappoint you? No, but Who was la- it? later on he did. Who was it? Russell Brand. <laughs> oh, because he, his comedy really went downhill and yeah. nothing to do with anything else. No. I was a massive Russell Brand fan and uh, his comedy just fell off a hill. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, he forced you to watch it, even though you said no. <laughs> In the ass. <laughs> yeah, clip that one. There's another clip. I tell you what. Oh. <laughs> right. I mean, I anyway, Kelly's wines. Who died? <laughs> but yeah, I met him and he was lovely. Um. <sighs> <laughs> Um, do you know what? In comedy, I don't know if anyone's massively let me down that I've met that's famous. I don't think a lot of cunts sort of, I think people, are, even if they are cunty, just sort of do a good job of hiding it. I think most people I've met that I've looked up to have been pretty nice. If you were, like most comedians that I've met when I've become a comedian have yeah. been dead most sound. Them, yeah, yeah, 99% of the time. There's a couple where I'm like, oh, you're a bit of a dick. But I never liked them in the first place. Like, for me, I suppose the person I've met that I watched a lot growing up was Ralph Little. And he's now been on this, and we've had a nice out with him oh, and whatever. So, he was so. just dead sound. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, if you found out that Johnny Vegas was a fucking bell end, you'd be gutted, wouldn't you? Yeah. Like, I, some of the American superstars, like Will Ferrell. Yeah, you, Will Ferrell's got to be sound, hasn't he? he yeah. I'd be fucking... Gutted if someone like that who was actually a cunt? twat. Who do you reckon's a cunt? Like a famous person who's a gobshite. Um, this rock. Do you reckon? Yeah. Cool. Corden you, definitely. Corden's got a bit of a he's rep, so a bit of a rep though, of a bell end. Yeah. He's very no, but I mean, hate. not just because he's on fucking. He never says no to anything, does he? Like, I also apparently think he is a bit of a dick. To the thing we're funny. The thing I find funny about James Corden is everyone's like, oh, he's fucking talentless twat. But then everyone loves Gavin and Stacey. Like, he's obviously a good comedy writer. You can't call him talentless. You can be annoyed with him for being on everything. You can't say... The guy's... Yeah, definitely. Gavin Stacey's a classic, isn't it, now? He's he's done loads of stuff that's good. Wales. Um, (laughs) Words. (laughs) What if Steven Gerrard was a fucking... Stephen Gerrard. Stephen Gerrard. Stephen Gerrard. He's probably Stephen fucking Gerard. dull as fuck, isn't he? No, but it, I mean, if he was a cunt, that would be sad. That, that'd be... That, that'd batters that'd DJs like, my heart. He does batter DJs. To this day, still batters them. Yeah. Didn't just beat one up. <laughs> he just repeatedly batters... It's his pastime. It is, allegedly. Yeah. Probably not a good pint, let's be honest. I think he'd be all right. I do think he'd be all right, actually. If you knew him. Cardigan would be. Yeah. Can I get a big great point? 
I think a lot of these guys are on guard, aren't they? Because someone's trying to get something out of them Absolutely, or record them. As, yeah. Once you know there's a bit of trust in the room, yeah. I think you may be hoping that someone's pretty sound. Yeah. Um, Carragher comes across a lot less guarded than Gerard does in his media appearances. Yeah, yeah totally. Like a lot less guarded. That's why he's got the job he's got. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, he's real. Like Gary Neville, it's just the real, aren't they? Who, who would be celebrity-wise... You can't stand, but you would be like, "Oh my god, I actually quite like them." Like, it would be if if I hung out with Piers Morgan and went, "Fuck, he's great fun." Like I, that would go against my. But he would be. He'd be a great pint, Piers Morgan. What, pa- Piers but, Morgan would be sound if you met him. But what if you just kept talking to him and then he said a Piers Morgan thing? That is the reason I hate him. Like, I don't think he would. Though. Awful. I don't think he would. Obnoxious. He's just very good at selling himself. Clarkson, similarly, I think would be a good pint. Yeah. See, no, I, I find, about him. I, I find more, Clarkson less annoying than being a dickhead than Piers Morgan. I think. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I can imagine Clarkson God. to be like a cunt to the staff. I, can, I should be like, oh, go away. I, I bet like, you Piers Morgan's like overly friendly with everyone he meets. I can He's just Clarkson got some be... opinions that make him a cunt. Oh. I see him being very, very dismissive and got no time for people. Clarkson, I don't know why. Yeah, I've got that vibe off him. You know, he's funny as fuck. I feel like James may be cool as fuck. He's not a knob, is he? Yeah, but no. he's not, he's like yeah. the nice guy, isn't he? Yeah. Who would I be gutted who was a dickhead who I met? Um, <laughs> so that, to the Deans of Dan. Yeah, but he would be, wouldn't he? He'd just be that arrogance and like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, did you wear? <laughs> oh. He's French. Do you want another drink to the Dean? Oh. Uh, uh, Buff. <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Last, last Gotta get you round then. I tell you what, Zidane down Pogues. Fucking nightmare. Right up his own ass. Zidane, you want a booner? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> French people are very indecisive, though. Fact. <laughs> fact. I don't know. I don't know. That is a mm. fact. Every French person. You're just like? taking that noise and saying, mm. "What are you even doing in pokes?" Well, I don't, I don't know. know. Hello. I uh, don't know. I'm in When's the... your birthday, Zidane? I don't know. Whenever I feel that I was born. <laughs> he doesn't know his own birthday. <laughs> he doesn't. Like, Zidane sounds, anything. your Zidane sounds thick as fuck. <laughs> hey, Zinedine, Nobody's when's da- your birthday? Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what am I doing in pugs? <laughs> I'm World Cup What's wrong for Christmas, but- Zinedine? Just get me a card. <laughs> <laughs> I stick a 10 euro in it. Classic That's Zidane, he'd easy. rather have the cash. <gasps> That's classic Zizou type cunt. <laughs> if I met Messi and he was a tit, that'd break me out. He was like, no pictures, fuck off. I think he's a bit weird, though, isn't he? There's like no, a he's, lot of he's just, I think he's very... Uh... Would it, it would be weird if these really super famous people were just annoying in a dead specific way. Like, Lionel, Lionel Messi always used to love do... Like, he does dick taps. Yeah, Messi's great, but he's always fucking dick tapping. Get off, Leo. You well, fuck Bill Murray does stuff like that, doesn't he? Bill Murray, like, famously fucks with people when he meets them. Like, apparently he's gone up to people in restaurants and took, like, a chip and ate it in front of them and gone, no one will ever believe you. Bill Murray's had some uh, accusations against him this week. So, oh, no. So pretty. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Yeah. They've, they've, they've shut down filming of a, of a film set. Oh, what did Bill do? He was... Uh, Is Bill Murray gr- lost in translation? He was gro- yeah. grown, I day. think. What? Oh, he mounted... Will's telling me. He mounted someone. Oh, we've all he done that. Mounted Just pop Bill Murray Bill accusations. Murray. We've all done What's that. really funny is there's a comedy club in London called The, the Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Yeah. The, Lost in Translation is a fantastic like, film. Oh, no. Not Bill. Come on, Bill. Be better there than that. Bill um, Roach. Inappropriate set behaviour. Oh. Straddled and kissed a younger female colleague. Oh. I know, it's gutting, isn't it? Just thought we'd, we'd nip that one before. No one's ever done that as well of his age on set. No. Fuck. Who'd do that? He is 80 years old though, so don't straddle and kiss. Oh no, he's not allowed. Yeah. It's bad that. Lost in Translation is a good film though. If Is that the one that comes to your mind as the best Bill Murray film? Because I've got no, it. No, it's the one that's stuck in me because I've lived there. Groundhog Day is just. I love that film Never so Never seen much. it. Oh, it's, it's an excellent bit of film. Love it. I did, until he disgusted me. Tell you what, Groundhog Day, more like the next day. <laughs> okay. Um, should we do another question? Yeah. All right, cool. One more and then lunch. I'm hungry. Oh. What do you want? Anything. Something to eat. Cool. 
Bill Murray on toast. Um, shall we do? Um, should we do a bit of advice? Can do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Press the button. Uh, oh, sorry. I am mother, I'm here to help. Here to help. I'll solve your problems. I'll tell you the best thing to do. If you want to do it, you'll be fine. If you don't, you might do time. I'm dropping these hard at the arena. Yeah. I don't think we realise how much these will bang. Yeah. Yeah, they're all the they're audio. On that one is going to be yeah. oh, stonking. Yes. G Funk at the end. Um, do you want to go woke girlfriend yeah. or laid, uh, girlfriend moving abroad? Uh, woke girlfriend. Okay. Carl says. Um, he's Moroccan as well. KOC. Uh, C. My man. Carl says, wag wag lids. I hate my name. No, I've been with my girlfriend for five years now, but the problem is... Five years, five years, still baby. you, still, still me, still, still here. Five years, five years, baby, five years. But the problem is she's so woke. <laughs> Every show she wants to watch has to be woke as fuck. Oh and she's tried to stop me. It sounds like he's smoking. Like, woke as fuck. <laughs> Um, and she's tried to stop me from watching Game of Thrones because she thought it was problematic due to the nudity the women have to go through and the rape scenes being too far. Also, when we go to see comedy, it has to be someone so vanilla or part of the LGBTQ plus movement, such oh. as Alan Carr. <laughs> Any, you know, just you so know. you know, yeah. uh, if you don't know what LGBTQ plus is, boys, I've got an example for you. This gay fella. <laughs> Any <laughs> advice? He is unrelentingly LD, LGBT blue. Uh, LD. Anyway. LD. What's the D stand LGBT for? LGBT LGBT blue. blue. LGBT blue. What does D stand for? It's a drink, isn't it? Double penetration. How would he do it? <laughs> Has he got two bum holes? What? <laughs> no, one in the face and one in the ass. Oh, okay. Such as Alan Carr. No, double penetration actually is two cocks in the same hole, isn't it? That's what DP is. It could be two different holes. Oh, is it? What's your bubble? I thought it was the two holes. I'm mistaken. Thank you for educating me. I, think it I learn a lot. Be, no. How are you getting two dicks in one hole? <laughs> that in is one the thing. Asshole. What? Google that. What? Have actually, you not seen that? In the same bum hole? Yeah. Just put, just put two cocks in one bum hole, Finn. That'd be easier. <laughs> just put two cocks in one bum hole? YouTube will oh. monetize this episode because the album. If Alan Carr's it. DVD comes up, I'd be so happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Images. Oh, good God. Oh, it does happen. Oh, there you go. So it does. Phil, Phil, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> she will we'll stop recording the telly for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. That was Finn and Will mixed, by the way. Um, Two cocks on Any advice I wouldn't on... want to do that. You just you just want one one cock want, in your arsehole. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you won't. No, <laughs> tell you what, right now, lads, I'm going out on a bit of a fucking... I'm not, I don't want two cocks in my no, arsehole. Like, even, like, if hey, I... I'd be like, Linford... <laughs> If I end up having a threesome with a friend of mine and a girl, which can happen, you know, has happened before. Um, if I put, if if she was like, I want both of your cocks in my arsehole, <laughs> I'd be like, no, no. I'm not rubbing my bellend on his to make you happy. <laughs> you'd, you'd say that. How are you rubbing bellends? Because you know, your bellends are what? touched on the way in. What do you they? mean? How are you rubbing bellends? One How goal. big's your arsehole? <laughs> You're in the West Wing and he's in the East Wing. There's going to be chafage. Also... This is almost as offensive. Where do your legs go? You can be scissoring your mate. No, I think you're no. both doing this, aren't you? What? You're both facing the other way. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Talk me through it. <laughs> Bro, talk, talk me through it. Talk me through right, it. Right, lad. Don't know how we've managed this. <laughs> it's going well, isn't it? She's lying flat. She, yeah, you know what? And Carl? Then, no, Carl? can you do that? <laughs> I guess like that. You're both going. <laughs> but then... but Scott's imagining it. I'm telling you right now, no, she's two flat. cocks in and one bum hole. You both do that, but then you both spin away. Like lean away. No, spin. No. Swivel. Spin. So you're both facing the other way. <laughs> but where's your dick? Up an ass. <laughs> And you're spinning away. Yeah. She's Where do be... your legs go? Oh, right, Dan. She's, Show them. She's there. Like how, that. how supple? She's there, yeah. Yeah. There. And you, you're here. Yeah. And he's there. And you're both just like, you sort of dock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And snap your legs behind you. <laughs> yeah. You just have to be a bit more subtle. Uh, supple. And, and hot, hot yoga's going well, is it? This is yeah, what we're great. practicing for. Nice. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, yeah. You get bendy. <laughs> Cool. I love it how I'm more appalled with leg touching. 
you, every time we're on this pod and we accidentally touch hands, you're mm. like, ah, you can't do two dicks, one hole. No. No, no, no. What was no. the question? Yeah, what was the question? <laughs> Something about his woke girlfriend, <laughs> who I reckon might not be a listener of Have A Word. <laughs> Throwing it out there. Sounds dull. Any advice on how to get her to go to hot water or see something slightly edgy, as she's too scared to go in case someone tells a trans joke? Well, to be honest, like, you, you, she's that scared many. to go. Not that many, oh, she any. sounds like an absolute cunt. Yeah, you need to fucking leg it anyway. Uh, like, I've got no problem with people being like, oh, look, I, I believe this and whatever. But air saying you can't watch certain things and trying to get you to stop it. She sounds like a big dull twat, mate. And honestly, I hope I never meet this woman because I think I'd just have to tell her straight, listen, you're a gobshite, you, and you're ruining your fella's life. You need existing. two dicks in your arsehole <laughs> with legs not touching. Yeah, fuck it off. Knob. Yeah, being scared to listen not, to something. Like, like, you can just ignore it. I always think this with the woke stuff. Like, they, no, I get it. Everyone's they, entitled to their opinion. If, she's not, if she doesn't like... Jokes about dodgy subjects. She's doing the right thing by avoiding them, to be fair. But she can't control what you're doing as well. But yeah. why do they have to take it so far? Like, racism is wrong, and, like, the equality is a positive thing. But if you go Preach. too far with this, it's like a fucking... People who are woke <laughs> are like a parking sensor on a car. Like, it's important to be... Hey, anti hey get close! It's, like yeah, it's, 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 it's important... <laughs> It's important to be anti-racism, to be anti, like, to be pro -equality. That's all good. But if you fucking start squealing too early, it's like a parking sensor yeah. that goes off when you're three metres from a bollard. It's too, you're, you're squeaking too much. Like, oh my God, that's racism. You're like, chill the fuck out. Well, so You've it, called it way too early. And then what true. happens is you just start ignoring the parking sensor because it's fucking broke. And then you bump into something. Correct. And if it's fictional like Game of Thrones. A fucking wild analogy there. Oh, Do you know it, what though. I mean, though? Yeah, it worked, but like I didn't think it was going to when you started. Do you know what I mean? Because because <laughs> if everyone's shouting racism for any mention <laughs> of race, if that's if what happens oh. is they all get ignored. <laughs> yeah, it's boy cloud like, wolf. Yeah. yeah, and then within that, cunts are getting away with some <laughs> fucking horrible stuff. Just be an adult. Yeah, be a grown stop, up. You you diluting the water of going that's bad. You're like no, it, it's not bad. There's bad shit that's bad that is now getting put in the same category. And it's like it's getting diluted a little bit. I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like there's actual bad shit that you should be fighting for. Yeah. And they go, don't take Game of Thrones off. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Also, I'm, I'm starting to hate that like art isn't allowed to show the awful parts of human nature. Yeah. Like imagine if like American History X got made now. People are like, oh, they're all racist in it. Like that's the point of the film. It's literally a story about... <laughs> it's how you learn, brilliant. isn't it? It's how you learn. That shit Have you seen about? Jamie Foxx talking about Leonardo DiCaprio uh, filming Django? Like J Leonardo DiCaprio oh, was so like, good. Was like, I can't say these things. I can't say it. And Samuel L. Jackson and Jamie Foxx were like, we're not your friends when we're filming. You own us. We're your property. They're not pe we're not people. And the next day, he come in and Jamie Foxx was like, you're like, Leo. Didn't even look at him. Ah, uh, sick. So. Right. I just, he, had he, just, to, he had to he get had to method act the respect away from these actors. Yeah, mm. I mean, she sounds. What's she watching? Like fucking. I, I want to show the Glenn. Sounds <laughs> 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 I don't want to watch this comedian. I want to watch Monarch of the Glen. Take Game of Thrones. Let's put the. I don't know what you put on. The news is even bad. What's she watching? <laughs> oh, she's done my editing. <laughs> It can't be loads of. It it can't be loads of. What's fun. woke telly? Is what is woke telly? Like Good Morning Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so woke. BBC Breakfast. <laughs> what does she watch? Hey, good luck with that relationship. I bet she's a great shag. Um, so, um, I'm sh hungry, me. Shall we call it? I'm dead hungry. Okay, chicken cool. burger. I'm feeling like chicken burger. I think. Okay, cool. See you in a bit. Good. What's happening, fatty? <laughs> Oh, my boobs, they've got big. It's time for a little fitness challenge, isn't it? The jiggly, it is. Uh, we've got a new sponsor on board, ladies and gentlemen. They, uh, this is Whoop. Uh, Whoop is a digital fitness coach. You can get the Whoop 4.0 right now. Uh, basically, it's a, a wearable device. And if you become a Whoop member, as we are encouraging all of our listeners to do, as we all have very recently, you essentially get a digital fitness coach. There's an app that goes along with it. It monitors your sleep, your recovery, the strain you're putting on your body, your fitness, everything. It's the most advanced piece of technology 
for this kind of thing. Um, I'm already loving it. I'm already getting competitive with it. Um, we've got a very unique... You've got to... If you want to join our community, you've got to do a couple of things here. So you go to join.whoop.com slash have a word. If you do that, you get a free month's Whoop membership uh, and you also get a 30-day return window. So you can essentially just try it for free. And if you don't think it's for you, you can give it back and... If it is for you, obviously, you can keep it going. And that link not only gets you those offers, it also lets Whoop know that we're the ones who sent you. Once you've signed up, uh, you enter the code C-O-M-M hyphen H-V-A-W-R-D. I imagine that's all on the screen if you're watching us on YouTube. And you can join our community and you can track yourselves a long time uh, alongside us. You can see all your data at the same time as seeing all of our data and see who's getting themselves in the best shape. You don't have to do weights. You don't have to be running for 10 miles. You can just be do, doing what I'm doing, which is a bit of gardening and light masturbation. And it's still, it's all positive, isn't it? Yeah. All positive. I'm Whoop tra- tracks it. I'm trying to get swole. Swole? I want to be, like, genuinely, I want to drop two stone before the arena and I reckon I'm going to be able to do it. Right, cool. I just want to not die at 55. Yeah. So this is helping. It's an amazing bit of kit. Get on board. And if you don't get on board, you can just watch us mess it up because I've not started well. Uh, yeah, so go to join.whoop.com slash have a word. Order yourself the new Whoop 4.0. Become a Whoop member and uh, join our little fitness challenge that we're going to right up until the arena. We're going to be doing this. How are these? What? How are these? Me pecs. Oh, sorry, they're pecs. They're not tits these, anymore. These are boobs. Those are pecs. Yeah. You're getting fat. I'm getting fit. Fact. Final section. We're going to do three windows no guests because we're lazy like that. Not lazy. You know what? It's free. Podcast is What's free. That shite that I was drinking. Diet, no thanks. I drink sneak. <laughs> what, what what code would you use if you wanted a sneak? Carl, 10. Word 10. Word 10. Something with 10. Word 10. Sneaky beak. For a big mug of shite. Sneak. Well, it's good if you want to work out as well, probably. Oh, did they call it did they call sneak shite in? No. Uh, what do they call it in Liverpool? You you getting on the shite tonight, lad? No. I'm on the sneak. You don't need coke when you add sneak. Because it's like Coke, but in a drink. <laughs> Allegedly. It's all like goth fuel. <laughs> Stay getting nervous. <laughs> no, that's monster. It is. Yeah, goth fuel's monster. Sneak fuel. isn't for goths. Sneak is for the average working American. <laughs> <laughs> like I am. Middle America. Hey, my name's Danny. I'm from the Midwest. Sneak is for all of the working and middle classes. The blue co- <laughs> <laughs> The blue collar... But also white collar working man. If you or have, woman. Brown collar as well. If you've got a collar or a skirt, a pair of tits or a cock, whatever you are, try sneak. Yeah. <laughs> are you tired? Tired of life? Don't end it all. Drink sneak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you fucking knackered? Get sneak in your sad, yeah. Are you tired of cheating on your wife and having to sneak around? Oh, well, whoa. all the energy you're using on that, you can replenish with some sneak energy drink. Help you. Fuck your mistress. Betrayal is tiring. <laughs> Use code. Word <laughs> 10. Do you feel deep-rooted shame? Do you hate yourself? Have you let yourself and your family down? <laughs> He's so angry. Drink sneak. Get snuck. I don't know. You're an awful human. Are but you the CEO what? of a Fortune 500 company? That you must be tiring. Fortune <laughs> <laughs> that must be tiring. Gee whiz, you've been working so hard lately. Bet you could use with an energy boost. G Fuel? Yeah. Use Sneak to, to replenish all your energy you, spent conquering the I mean, business sneak. world. <laughs> Drink sneak. Do you work on a Japanese whaling ship? <laughs> Those harpoons don't lift themselves. Try Sneak, or as you call it, Sneaker. Are you Diana Ross? Are you Diana Ross and you're dead old and knackered because you've been singing for ages? <laughs> Fucking get on the sneak. Diana! That's how they do it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got Emmy? <laughs> I don't know. It might work. Emmy award winning. <laughs> Have you got chronic fatigue? Brought on by... Uh, Too much chronic? <laughs> Oh, oh. boogie candles. Have you got chronic fatigue brought on by insufferable pain? Well, you might be tired. And if you're tired, you need sneak. Or as we call it, jazz acid. <laughs> jazz acid. 
<laughs> not to be related to actual acid. <laughs> we oh, need to do right, some right. small prints here. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, guess it. Yeah, but only Japanese whaling, you know, because it's like traditional. Yep. So do you reckon that's Stay <laughs> Stay You know we have to mention Stay yeah. Do you reckon that's alright One more promo code What was the promo, promo code, code yeah. One more One more One more ad No one more code mentioned. Are you Donatella Versace <laughs> And you're like Oh my god I've been trying so many dresses Aren't they mad <laughs> You need sneak You ugly old fucking lizard <laughs> Promo code Word you're 10 like a nasty handbag Word 10. You're like a handbag that would give you gonorrhea. Don't stick your dick in that handbag. Watch it drink sneak. Oh, I like the noise there. That was nice. Blob. My name is Donatella Versace. I'm so tired. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I drink it like this. <laughs> ah. Is that good enough? Is that the one? Steve's happy. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Use a card the word of ten. I wonder if she was named after the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> what, Versace? That nearly went on your white t-shirt and my laptop. Yeah, she was. She was called Leonardo Versace for like, <laughs> yeah. like ten minutes. Yeah. Shredder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Dan? Uh, I'm so tired. Um, what, if you're tired, Dan, get some more. <laughs> Have you got a one year old that's on fucking glue? In fact, <laughs> <laughs> like, just, I love that kid, but if he doesn't start sleeping, he's going out the fucking window what? with sneak. Do you need to kick an 18 month old child <laughs> out the fucking window? You sneak. And she stars are coming in too late when he's been out with his mates. He's on the fucking shite. He's on the shite. He's on the shite. <laughs> that was, he hides it in his nappy. Oh shite. no, that's actual shite. <laughs> on the shite. Uh, <laughs> he's on the shite. He's on the shite. Where's Jeff? He's out on the shite. <laughs> Sounds he's like a cover of a Take a Break magazine. Yeah. <laughs> My two year old's on shite. <laughs> I was every night. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Green him off it using sneak and use the promo code word 10 to help. Yeah. Is your toddler not sleeping? <laughs> Try sneak. Go full circle. <laughs> <laughs> what's, my, what's my resting heart rate? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Sneak. <laughs> Please mm. don't remove the brand deal. Uh, Steve, is that everything you need? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice one, Steve. Thanks. Cooler. Cooler. Thank you. Six, Six minute, minute advert. advert. <laughs> they definitely want it. It is genuinely good. It's really nice. I hate my son. He's such a bell end. <laughs> you hate your son? No, I don't. I love him to bits. But you hate him to You can love someone. No, I don't. I don't. I don't hate him, but he's just, we're having a bit of a, have you heard of a sleep regression? No. It's when they get more annoying. Right. They're like, cool, I can sleep. No, night. No, see you later. Wake up once. But now he's like, what if I wake up four times? <laughs> And I know it's bad when I'm getting woken up. And like today is a long day. This is important. Have you thought about changing Hundreds his diet? Hundreds of thousand people. He might talk, be having too much sugar. Talk, talk me through it. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Shit. What's he eating? Is he on solids now? Fried eggs. Is he? Haribo. <laughs> Just before bed. <laughs> what, Dad? That's your Whoa, best. there's <laughs> we found it. Easy work. There's your problem. You're yeah. giving him Haribo before bed. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't and do Ye that with kids. No more Jaeger bombs after seven. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that to the kids. Finish your Jaeger bomb before seven. It's dangerous to be having Jaeger bombs and being on the shite at the same time. It's two lots of uh, things. Yeah, yeah particularly for a one and a five year old. Better can handle it. She's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, Dad. I ain't even fucking slept. Don't give Jack a Jager bomb. He's fucking bouncing. Don't give Jack a Jager bomb before bed. He will wake up. Is he eating like proper food now or is he still on like uh -huh. the shite? What? Is he on the solids? Is he eating pork chops? Is he still on like SMA milk or does he eat? It's one and a half. I, don't, eat know, an I don't know the time. He's starting to talk. Right. They and get on food way earlier than. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you yeah. were like four by the time you started eating proper food. <laughs> four? <laughs> four? He never started eating properly, so the fucking yeah. SMA <laughs> I'd love it. He'd probably be healthier than the shite I eat now. A rusk. Uh, yeah, 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 he's eating. Starting to talk. He does baby led weaning. You know what that is? Baby led weaning is where you go. Sounds like an Italian dish. <laughs> baby led weaning. Or a skate move. Baby led weaning is where you just put food in front of them and like they work it out badly. <laughs> Watching him eat with a spoon is so painful. It's so he goes, oh, eh. 
<laughs> like it takes ages. You just like just to get two Cheerios on a fucking spoon. And just, ah. <laughs> Gravity. Yeah. So he's you know. Is he so forming proper just, sentences? Yeah. Or has he just like got words? Uh, butt ball. Butt ball. Butt ball. Yeah. What's butt ball? Butt butt ball. ball. Oh, football. Butt ball. Sounds like a game. Outside. Outside. Outside butt ball. Laura. Is still. he formulating any sort of heavy opinion, Jeff? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He hates Mexicans. <laughs> it's really mental. He's done it. Out, he's built a wall out of Lego. <laughs> What's, What's that, Jack? Mexican border. <laughs> Bear la war. Bubba. Bear la war. What's his opinion on the UN? What accent are you doing? <laughs> or oh, the G8. Sorry. What's his opinion on the G8? The G8? Yeah. G7 now, isn't it? G7, sorry, yeah. Who's been relegated? Russia. Russia been relegated? No, I don't know who it is. But some, one of them defected. Panama. Who to the what? <laughs> the <laughs> I, the to, IV to the Dubai Five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the G8 was boring. There was no relegation. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking West Brom are out. <laughs> it's America, it. China. Um... Yeah, he's he's yeah, he's pretty um he's pretty anti immigration. <laughs> he doesn't like anyone coming in the house. Uh, what's his favourite primetime TV show? What's his favourite primetime TV? <laughs> Big Bang Theory. Is he more of a chase man no, he's or a pointless? Moron. What? Is he more of a chase man or into pointless? Um Oh he's Charlie. a bit chase. He's not developed all the way to to, to pointless. Yeah. He's, he likes it simple, straight down the line. With a big fat man staring at everyone. What's it called? The Beast. The Bradley Beast. Walsh. Oh. 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 Anne Hegarty. Mark Labette. Shags' cousin. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Mark Labette, Shags. <laughs> what tune was that? I don't know. <laughs> da, 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 da. Mark Labette, Shags' cousin. cousin. He's saying that in the crowd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the warm-up guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The crowd at the chase are fucking lady, you know. It's like a Galatasaray match. <laughs> <laughs> The sinner man, here he comes. All <laughs> sinners. Oh god. So weird having one of your mates. What do they sing about him? Sinner man, sinner man loves Cinema. to bum men. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. white suits. He does. Well, he doesn't love to bum men. He loves likes to bum his boyfriend. Or husband. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? You're right. Dead tired. And I respect you and your partner. He might be the bummy. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, he's got a good sense of humour. Thank fuck. Um, it is weird having your mate on um, that. Strange how many people we know that are doing famous stuff now, isn't it? Famous stuff. Like Jack Whitehall is doing proper films. Yeah. What's the fucking the Barney block. the Big Red Dog? <laughs> What is Cliff, it? Do we know him? Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Barney the Big Red Dog. <laughs> what have I mixed that up with? Dinosaur. Barney the Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we know Cl do any of us know Clifford? The dog? Yeah. I know Jack Whitehall. Oh, but you said it's funny how many people we know are doing big things. and then you said Yeah, Jack Whitehall's in Barney the, the oh. Big Red Dog. <laughs> He's a cartoon. What? Is he a voiceover? No, they're doing a live action remake. <laughs> <laughs> I know you think I've been stupid, but you've matched my stupidity. They did do a live action. They've done a they live action on a Jack White. Is it a real dog? It's a big It's a massive... Dog. Yeah, they've it's got a, a lot of breeding. Just Decades a whole, of breeding. It's a horse, yeah, yeah. surely. It ate four <laughs> fucking extras. <laughs> Clifford's at another extra. Here he is. There he is, Jack White, all doing an American accent. There's the dog. Fucking hell. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to watch that? <laughs> it's actually <laughs> fucking horrible, isn't it? <laughs> the fact that there's another normal dog it, there it makes it so <laughs> much worse. Why would you want to watch that? Too scared to look up just in case Clifford gets horny. <laughs> fucking hell. Wear you like a fucking glove. Imagine his pink lipstick, mate. Clifford is a red. Clifford is a red. He's at four fucking extras. Clifford is a red. If that, I want to go into honestly, acting, that could I want be to be a... serious roles. I might have said this to you before, but I've <laughs> been thinking several about times, acting a lot lately. Several times. I've been thinking about diversifying my career. Right. Yeah, you <laughs> you need more stuff to do. No, but I just mean like I think I want to spread my wings a bit and fly. Yeah, fly, fly like a bird, far away from here. I, I, yeah, I just think you know, bit of drama would be great. I think I could do it as well. I think I'd be more suited to that than comedy acting. Funnily enough. Yeah, yeah, I, I see it. Lord of the Rings are making a they're the, a lot of money in TV now, isn't it? I don't want to Amazon. Fancy, I want to do Amazon real stuff. have pumped millions in. Yeah. 
I could see you as a fucking hobbit. Could you? Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the grumpy scouse one. <laughs> Come on, you know what it's like. We're Harfords. Fuck off, lad. Fuck off. We're a fucking castle and a staff. Where's my fucking dragon? Oh, yeah, wrong series. <laughs> what about House of the Dragon? That's the other money. It's one of them at the moment. I don't want to be in either of them. I want to be in. I want to play serious roles in serious stuff that isn't fucking fantasy. The yeah. bill, dead, dead serious. The bill. Yeah. Would you be in the bill? The bill. I think I'd be really good in the bill. Would you be a busy or a criminal? Oh, he'd have to be a criminal because he hates but the they, police. The criminals aren't in it for very long, are they? Like sort of short yeah. storylines. Well, you want to be long, like in you the bill, be a regular. Oh fuck yeah. that! You want to come in and steal the no, show? I want to be the Ken Barlow of the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Like but 60 years playing the same villain. Is it still going? They just can't is the catch bill still the going? Bill. I used to love the feet thing, do you remember it at the start? We'd see the feet walking. Yeah. The opening credits. Oh yeah, it was a p- the pl- female police officer and a male police officer. Yeah, you could see the boots with the music. They were walking because that's what they do. They patrol the police beat. Wall, yeah. Smart. Yeah. yeah, I think you'd be better dropping in as like a just a one-off bang out, like an amazing performance as... What kind of crime? What you, kind? What crime would he sue? Are you PC role? sex offender, or are you going to be like a character? Oh, that's what I want to be. I want to be a corrupt of... policeman. Oh, oh like line oh, of duty. Yeah, yeah, line of duty. esque be better though because they ruined it. Yeah, line of duty. <laughs> corrupt policeman in the bill. <laughs> <laughs> the bill, late night. Oh, the bill vice. Got a line of shite. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Line of and shite. that's what I'm doing. I'm working from the inside to make sure all the drug dealers in Liverpool can sell their shite. Right. On the inside, man. On the bill, which is set in. <laughs> which is set in. London, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, but they change it. It's the bill, Liverpool. D- the Liverpool bill. No, the, the bill. Liverpool. Scouse Mafia. That's what it's called. The bill, like, Scouse hyphen. Mafia. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. coming to your tellies next year, then. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it? I is think it'd be better in America, wouldn't it? Like a New York or Chicago or like... Kelly's Wines. Yeah. That'd be great. The dramatization of that. The dramatization yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. I've not got over that. <laughs> it's still so mental. Yeah. <laughs> Liverpool is weird. No. It's the best city in the world. Best city in the world, yeah. Clifford is a red. <laughs> Clifford is a red. He's fucking big and massive. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. We're keeping you up, lad. Been a long week, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, we went boozing on a Tuesday. Boozday. Boozday, mate. Oy. In Shrewsbury. Boozday in Shrewsbury. Chat Whitehall, good good on you, mate. Come on the couch. Come on the couch. Is he scared to come on the couch? What? I was told he was a bit trepidatious about uh because we're naughty. Told by who? A person. Have you got, have you got an inside source? No, a person who's his friend was a bit like, oh, we know it's about you, but he's a bit like trepidatious about coming on because... Because uh, he does films with massive red dogs for kids. Yeah, and we're a bit yeah, naughty. I can, I can see it, yeah. Um, also, you'll probably work with him soon when your career gets off. Once you've done the Bill Scouse Mafia <laughs> Kelly's Wine special. <laughs> what? Get off the f- No, I don't want to use me on accents if I go acting. I want to like be, I want to like get an accent coach. And- <laughs> an accent coach? I, I'd like, I'd love to be like a New York. No, I think you should be Brazilian. Proper New York. No, Brazilian. Oh! <laughs> Brazilian it needs to be. Brazilian. A Brazilian New Yorker, yeah. I don't know how to do a Brazilian accent. That's why you need an accent coach. You no, but like, do... I've got to build on the foundations I've already got. Uh, I've already got New York pretty tight. Carl, t- <laughs> type in Brazilian New York. No, don't really, Finn. I'm being stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, shall we do some other words? It's been a murder here. I'm going to solve it. <laughs> what? Why would he come up to the crime scene and say that like they didn't know? <laughs> There's a bit of money here. I'm going to fucking solve it. Yeah, I know. That's why we've taped it all off. I'm going to do all the work to get this to justice. That's why I'm here. That's, that's why they call me Detective Justice. No, your name he is... He solved the Kelly's Wines case. Detective Obvious, because you just tell everyone what you're doing. I'm here to solve the case. <laughs> With his sidekick. That guy has been murdered. With his sidekick, Father O'Leary. That Fuck guy's as dead as a motherfucker, oh, and I'm going to find out who did it to him. <laughs> Thank you, Inspector Obvious. He's been shot fucking nine times, huh? That's horrible. Go ahead. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Father O'Leary and Detective Obvious. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing there. 
Oh, oh, that's what a fucking fuck fuck great <laughs> program. Protect him, obvious, but he's deeply religious. Mate, I tell and you after what. After every case on Jordan, he goes to confession, but it's just to get advice from Father O'Leary. All right, that's what hey, well, you got to confess. <laughs> in South Lola murders. Hey, I ain't done nothing wrong since 1992. You know that I've been clean since then. Yeah, Barcelona Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> that's a fucker. Yeah, uh, well, you're all right. But I'm having a bit of a problem with an old murder case. He's come back up. All right. Yeah. Bastard. You remember the shoelace strangler that we never <laughs> caught? Oh, Someone yeah. got strangled the other night with a shoelace, and we're starting to think... Shoelace. <laughs> shoelace. <laughs> Lo- lovely glazed shoe. Is it cake? That's my question. And we're starting to think he might have reared his ugly head again. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking this could be part of a spree. All right, yeah. But to the confession, you got anything going on? Sorry, Father, just give me a moment. Hello? You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling my leg. He's only gone and done it again. Oh, we found someone with a pair of vans with no <laughs> shoelaces in them. <laughs> He's dead too. <laughs> He's killed him and stolen his shoelaces. One of them's round his neck and the other one is missing. Presumed Attack. stolen. I try. Honestly, this <laughs> shoot. I'd I will tell the story with this phone call. <laughs> Cut down on budget. Lads, I think you need to go to fucking Timpsons. <laughs> oh, fucking all these, the the phone. Fucking these shoelaces are going to lead to a Timpsons. I'm telling you right now. Listen, Johnny, I got to go. I'm in the confession box with Father O'Leary. Yeah, I'll tell him you said so. Yeah, he sounds. I don't even know who that was, but <laughs> two hell man. It's Johnny Pickles. He said to <laughs> <laughs> oh, He said to say good luck to you and your wife with the stuff you're going through. My wife? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that quiet today. I'm a fucking Catholic priest. Fucking <laughs> 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 What? Lad, lad. Don't talk, ass. don't talk about Janine in here. <laughs> How many beef does this father old lady have? Sounds like father old lady's got a confession to make of his own. Fuck off. I'm Jewish. Find out next week. <laughs> Find out next week on Detective Obvious. <laughs> so, Father, can you ask the Lord to bless me on my fucking case? Because I really want to catch this guy before he kills half of Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> With shoelaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You're blessed. Now, fuck off. <laughs> so I've got fucking synagogue. Hey, tell Janine, your friend, that I was asking about. <laughs> See, all right. A bit fucking fun. You leave old Jazz Jazz out of it. Jazz Jazz. Uh, and saying, I can say it. Yeah, I can say it. A purr. A purr of veils. A purr of veils. <laughs> I sing your purr of veils. I got a vision. <laughs> oh, should we do some other words? Yeah. Mm. It's time to have a word with Adam and Dan Tell them all the problems that you have with your friends This was supposed to be the whole podcast Now it's just the final 10% Little bit of a misnomer actually It wasn't ever meant to be the whole podcast was it? It was just the main feature I mean we were always going to be chatting shit for ages weren't we? No What? No Yeah. When I, when I originally drew the plans up in my head We were just going to do these for the whole thing <laughs> Yeah all right. That was just the final 10% yeah. Sense. Richard Peel says. Peely? Wag wag. Peelo. Dick Peel. Yeah. The peeler. He's been so made too much, him. <laughs> yeah. Wag wag. <laughs> wag wag. Can you either have a word with me or my missus? When yeah, I do the garden, I deliberately leave next door's hedge alone. She says I'm a bell end and should cut it, <laughs> but it's not up to me to do their fucking gardening. If they were OAPs, fair enough, but they are young and healthy and sexy. <laughs> For all I know, they might prefer a longer bush. <laughs> oh, Richard. Oh, dick peel. You knew what you were doing. Am I right to leave it or am I a passive aggressive knobhead, as she puts it? Well, we've talked about the beef I've had with my fucking neighbours. What? Martin. But yeah. Right, Martin, the one who's... You've got to be careful. Been trying to shag Laura and download in, in, indecent mm, images of children. Yeah, I think that's the one. Um, <laughs> I think you've got to be careful doing your neighbour's garden if they've not asked. <laughs> oh, you've been... Oh, oh. Mate. But here's one. We've got like a shared front lawn and uh, if if 
the gardeners come and mow the lawn, the gardeners like, well, I'm just going to mow your side, and it looks eggy as fuck. Yeah, because they just mow a line like, go fuck yourself. Whereas if I mow, I do. I'm I do next doors mean. as well. No, I'm paid, a big fan of the line. I'm fucking paid. Well, no. I'm a big fan of the line. I really am. Yeah, I think everyone's responsible for their own garden. Yeah. I've said that for years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In your penthouse flat. I've only I'd lived there you, for six months. Oh, that's true, yeah. I yeah. used to have a garden. Yeah. And tell you what, whenever I did my back garden on my front garden, I made my neighbours look <laughs> well <laughs> throws over. Because <laughs> you never did any of them things. No, that's you don't have to do... You don't have to do... You know, you're young, you're renting. Who's asked? Yeah. But I, I, I would absolutely be like Richard, man. I'm doing my bit. Do you want yours doing? Give me some money then. Right. I like a bit of, you know... Depends what your neighbours are like. Sound neighbours. If it's reciprocated, if you feel like they do the yeah. same thing, then yeah, go for if it. If they went, hey, do you mind doing me hedge for me while you're doing yours? I'd be like, do you know what? Not a problem, John. It's just going to be 200 quid. <laughs> Not a problem for me. It is £200 for you, though. Oh, you don't want to pay me? Oh, so unpaid labour. So you, you're comfortable with slavery, are you, John? <laughs> didn't know that about you. Cut his wife's didn't know you were... Trying to bring slavery back. Most people agree that that was a abhorrent period of history and should never be repeated. But here we are. Here we are, John. Is that the kind of thing? Can't wait for you to buy a house. It's going to be fun. <laughs> what did they meet them? Oh, slavery, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the new is mad. I want way. 200 quid for future gardening. Otherwise... Massa. What's the neighbours to have them on the table? Oh, Massa. You treat me bad. <laughs> uh, I'm up for it. I, I get it. I just think keep everyone sweet. I'm telling you, when it goes eggy, it's horrible. Keep everyone sweet to a point. Don't don't take the piss. No. Warfare from day one. Yeah, going hard. Yeah, shit on their front lawn. Just set your stall out early. You just got to be like, look, I don't take shit, me. You know what I mean? Like I'm happy to be friends. That's you don't shite. take shit. Oh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I take shit. <laughs> you don't take shit. You're like, listen, I'm I'm a friendly neighbour. But you've got to know who's boss. And it's me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll happily, you know, I'll be Sam. Yeah, you want some sugar? I'll lend you some sugar. You never run out of sugar. A sugar bit of milk. milk. I've always got plenty of milk in. I yeah. overbuy milk, if anything. Sometimes it gets thrown milk. away. Really? You overbuy milk? Every now and then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. I always overbuy milk. You really? Yeah, every now and then. <laughs> No, but sometimes I just get one pint, but sometimes I just get eight and then just throw four away. <laughs> eight? Eight pints? Do that, but then be horrible to his kids. Be really nice to the adults, but horrible to the kids. And they won't believe them. Daddy's horrible. What are you on about? I give you milk all the time. Who do you believe? But then spit at his kid. But he's walked away. Cool. Create a, a problem within their family structure. Threaten the kids. No, threaten Undermine them from within. It's horrible to them. Get the name oh. wrong every time you see what them. What have you got there? Fussy Snickers, yeah? Mm. I bet you get bullied loads, don't you? You little fat ginger cunt. Yeah? Go and say your dad I said he's got a nice haircut. <laughs> Goes and cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who do you believe? Then you're like, what's he on about him? It's like, the dad's like, shut up, you little ginger prick. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel good today, actually. <laughs> what did you do when you moved into the house? Were you, did you knock on at the neighbours no, and say hello? Luckily, they were outside. Um, and they're both doctors, so it's very good neighbours to have. Okay. Because um, if I get sick, I can knock on their door. <laughs> they love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean... You probably you probably seek medical attention before the... <laughs> no, but I mean, if something happens in the house agent, me and I'm waiting for an ambulance, I can go, hey, something's yeah. happened in there. Chainsaw instance. We've got a sex toy stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chainsaw. But they're, so they're one side, and the other side is a, an insane woman who plays... The telly at insane levels. She's not as fun. Do you know about the man who had a vibrating bullet go off his ass and ruined his bowels? What? There needs to be a screech there, surely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sort of made sense because we were talking about sex toys and chainsaws, but I'll give you... <laughs> and chainsaws? I monkeys on. <laughs> <laughs> sex toys and chainsaws. But only from Sheffield, <laughs> not from LA! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the little vibrating bullet, which is a very useful sex toy for the... Um, Clit. Clitoris <laughs> pleasuring. Clitoris pleasurus. Uh, some fella, like, his missus was sort of playing with his arsehole with it, and it, his ass sort of, like, swallowed the... <laughs> it's autonomous. Feed me. No, but you know, like, Feed sometimes, me, sometimes your arsehole just becomes, like, a little fucking grabber machine. 
Do you know what I mean? What? And it grabbed the bullet. What? And the bullet wormed its way up his arse all into his bowels and destroyed his What kind of bowels? Venus flytrap have you got? Like a fucking chameleon's tongue. Like, of its own volition just reached out and grabbed it. Basically. Oh, oh shit. Ass. His arsehole was pulsating and it grabbed the bullet oh. and swallowed it I've whole. Dr- I've dropped my fork off the table. Grab it for me, Adam. <laughs> oh, not with your fucking you sphincter, lad. No, it didn't. It swallowed it up. It didn't. <laughs> That's what he said to the nurse. Oh, sitting there, my asshole reached out, opened the drawer, get out the bullet, turned it on, and shoved it up my ass. No. I was just it, sat it was there. Up there. I was sat there drying off. This is about two weeks ago. And my asshole grabbed my phone and bought this online. And then my asshole also grabbed my credit card and the three digits off the back. Nightmare. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when my arsehole signed for it from the DPD guy, he wasn't happy. I had to take the picture though. <laughs> it's it's the rules. lie that's been told as arsehole reached out and grabbed. I don't even know what happened. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, do you mean your arsehole gets a bit grabby when things no, go around? It them? went just inside his arsehole, like they just were teasing <laughs> and it, it and, it just, and it fucking <laughs> sucked <laughs> it up. Hungry, hungry arsehole. They shoved it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an autonomous arsehole. I, I, I think it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like a snake's neck. It's just like, <laughs> don't stick anything near my eyes. <laughs> oh, he gets tempted. He gets tempted. Oh, oh he's on now. It's like a kind of fucking Rottweiler. We've got to stop because I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> I can't laugh like you are because I'll shit myself. <laughs> Those slim chickens we had have fucking gone straight to my eyes. I'm going to have to end the episode. Oh, no, pause it. All right, we'll pause it now. We we right, okay, good. Go on, it's the record. Uh, Just leave it on. Leave no, it on. I don't no, trust you. No, I'll cut it out. No, we'll cut it out. I won't say anything. Um. <laughs> Come on. Go on. The degree to which that's not happening. FOMO? Yeah. Don't poo just because you're going to get FOMO. <laughs> we can we can edit all this out, can't we? We all yeah. talk. This is getting cut out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I promise you. Look at that. Such a pro. <laughs> Such a pro. Go for a poo poo. Go for a poo poo. Come on, don't have an accident. Not today. Yeah. Don't try, turn it off. No, come on. We'll come back and we'll do it some more. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. If We've got a room, I've got a train. If you want me to come back in this room, you can turn that off. All right, cool. Oh, he's such a bum head. <laughs> Reach out and grab it. <laughs> Don't come back with like toilet duck. I won't. Come. Or a seat. <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. Ah, he needs a shit. <laughs> turn it yes, off. Make him shit. <laughs> What's happening, lads? Uh, Manscaped have sent us a new uh, advert read through, and uh, it's because the soccer season has started. You love soccer. Um, and uh, they, they want us to basically do this. Uh, they, they've sent us a script, so uh, da- Dan's going to read it. Can't off. miss that. Don't wait till your trouser devils are more disorderly than Man United. This season, bring your below the waist to the top of the table with Manscaped. Use the Lawn Mower 4.0 to show off your Modric level ball skills and ensure your member will look a good. <laughs> Man City may have won the cup, but your Man City will be the champion this year when you go to manscaped.com and enter code WORD20 for 20% off and free delivery on your order. I've cut me cock in the past. I've cut me balls using different razors. Manscaped skin safe technology means you don't snag the bag. It really is the best grooming products available on the planet for men's below the belt grooming. There's the lawnmower 4.0. There's the little ear and nose trim of the weed whacker. There's the ball crop preserver stuff. There's the ball deodorant. There's the undies you get. Just go and get the performance package 4.0. It's good for you. You can give it as gifts for Christmas. Yeah. This is the best stuff on the market. And you get with us, you get 20% off and free shipping worldwide. How do they get that? Get 20% off and free delivery worldwide with the code WORD20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free delivery at manscaped.com and use code WORD20. Celebrate a new season of the beautiful game with your newly beautiful balls. My balls have always been fit. Fit. Back from the poo? He's a new woman. Did you do the poo poo? Yeah. Needed it. Some people think I'm bonkers. But I just think I'm free. It's finished. Um, What? He's not finished. He's 28. He's not finished. Oh, yes. Anime. Anime. Any more questions, Dan? Uh, Last bit of advice and then we can fuck off. 
Hi Lids, love the pod, keep up the good work. Give me some advice, please. I'm so conflicted. The story goes that me and my fella asked his friend to look after our house whilst we were on holiday recently. He would come and feed our cat, turn lights on, etc. Second night of the holiday, our little move activated camera in our bedroom was set off and popped up on my phone. It's a live feed. We have the camera in there to keep our eye on the cat and where when we're at work. Anyway, I get a notification saying it's been triggered. My fella's friend is in our room, rifling through our drawers. I watched him sniff a pair of my knickers, then pocket them and walk out. I'm too scared to tell my fella because they're best mates and it could cause murder, even though I think it's fucking horrible. Please help. What do I do? All the love. Anonymous. You can't be kink shaming. What? Is it a kink? Yeah. Sniffing knickers. I no. get it as well. I really get it. Where does When does kink become... Dirty, horrible perv. In it, because kink is like a modern way of saying, "Oh, you know, you." It's empowering all the little sexual foibles, but there is a point where it just becomes horrible perv. Because if you're wanking in front of a primary school, you can be like, oh, "Stop kink shaming me." <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you're being a pedo. Yeah, like but- if you're sniffing your mate's girlfriend's knickers, and then what? Why did she leave them in the drawer? Why didn't she, <laughs> Why didn't she lock the drawer then? <laughs> she didn't want her niffers. <laughs> <laughs> you little niffers. Have you been snicking my niffers? <laughs> oh. If she didn't want her niffers snick, <laughs> she should have locked the fucking drawer. Why has she just left them in the house? It seems a little bit suspect to me. Yeah, it's the She's woman's fault. <laughs> you whore. Going away, leaving all your undergarments, your disgusting, whorish undergarments, in a drawer in your bedroom like a slag. Yeah, By the go, way, go round and feed the cat for me. Definitely don't sniff my knickers. We all know what she wanted. Here's a key. <laughs> if you could snick my knickers, that would be fucking great. And by the way, if you're an actual pro at this, I imagine that the clean ones in a drawer aren't what you're after. I've Have a rummage through the washing. <laughs> well, you don't go all day leave washing though, unless you're a psychopath. Yeah. Oh. Also, sometimes knickers have a residual smell even after a good wash. <laughs> oh, no. That's what you really want. Right, well, your washing machine's <laughs> broken, or you've got fucking bovine fanny disorder. What's it called? BV. That bovine BV. fanny BV. What's it called? No, that's it. It's bovine, bovine fanny. Bovine fanny. You've got a bo- You've got a hoof in your fanny. <laughs> <laughs> When your fanny goes, what do you say? He stole them as well, though. Yeah, yeah talk to him. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was just had hay fever. Maybe he had hay fever, and then went upstairs. He's gone round to just feed the human the worst, isn't yeah, she? He's like, oh no, my my allergies. Oh, <laughs> oh. maybe oh, he I... went in there looking for like batteries for their remote because he was going to like put batter- fresh batteries in the remote for when they get home. Yeah, and he's seen the knickers. Seems good, and he's gone. Hang on. They're my girlfriend's knickers. She's got them. And he's gone, no, oh, that's de- the death I wears. Or maybe they use the same detergent. So he's just got confused. Because <laughs> I always know the scent of my... Oh, no. That's Carol's funny. Oh, hang on. Let me just do it. Yeah, that's Susan. Yeah, that's Carol. Oh, now are they got in there? Anybody also, they've you? been washed, but both of these women have residuals. <laughs> Oi, you need to up the temperature of your washing machine if your knickers still smell. I go 60 degrees. Try it. I'm just saying, he might he might be totally innocent in this, and she's just assuming the worst than men. <laughs> Get in the fucking wash basket. Does he tell her? Get some of them that look like they've been sneezed into. She tell her fella. She can tell her fella what's gone on, <laughs> what she saw, what she saw, but she can't be making wild accusations. Hey, Finn, are you all right? Yeah. There's so many times recently when I just see Finn going. <laughs> Like, she can't be making baseless accusations, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just showing the footage. The fucking... This is this is baseless. <laughs> Jeff, I've got the fucking footage. <laughs> oh. That is baseless. Uh, 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 you don't know what he's uh, doing. Uh, yeah. He have hate oh, <laughs> yeah. You can frame anyone with video. <laughs> Yeah, also, they used to say the camera doesn't lie, but there's Photoshop and everything. No, she might be just trying to... St- Maybe she doesn't like how close they are, and she's jealous of their relationship, so she's trying to ruin it. Is it a dirty yeah. perv, isn't it? It could editing. be a deep fake. Is it a dirty perv? You shouldn't believe everything you get told. Do your own research. <laughs> oh, all right, well... Oh, hang on, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we see the video, I can't make a proper judgment on this one. <laughs> right, cool. 
From now on, we're going to need a lot more from your emails. <laughs> Have a word pod at gmail.com, but we need video evidence and a sworn affidavit. <laughs> and if you know what one of those is, good for you, I don't, but it sounded right. A sworn affidavit is a way of giving testimony without appearing in court. It's affidavit as well to tell yeah. yeah. David. It's not, it's not affidavit. No, David. no, no. I want an affidavit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like an after eight. Fucking <laughs> after eight. It's a little mint you have when you fuck Dave. Um, yeah, I, I don't believe her. <laughs> right. I just tell. I just. I think you would. Would you tell Laura if her friend was coming around sniffing your bills? <laughs> <laughs> Taking them home. Oh, oh my wife runs. My little Reebok wife runs. Yeah, just. Oh, would you go, Laura? God. Your if I did this to you when you were on Aldi and I went and fed your cat. I would not stop it. until you were on fire and dead. <laughs> Why? No, what would you actually do, Carl? Because you always do this. I would shoot you with a gun <laughs> in each eye hole until you were dead. But I, I want to know, genuinely, if it turned out that old fucking Sniffy Row had... I'll just what? come on this and say, by the way, Adam, I've seen a video of you sniffing. <laughs> oh, would you like, do it yeah. here? Would you have it out on here? Yeah. Oh, would you be all right mates-wise? Probably not, no. Why? Why? Why, why? What do you mean? What Would you be okay the other way around? Yeah. You'd be all... Own. Yeah. I'll support you whatever you need. I, <laughs> I don't believe you. Do you think Sarah could be all right with it? No. Do you know? I don't think any I girl... I she'd be flattered. No. I don't think any girl would be flattered by it. Oh, my God. This is how me. I show respect. I think... <laughs> God, I love this woman. <laughs> I keep these for later because I respect her so much. <laughs> Have a lovely 28 grand holiday in the Maldives. <laughs> just a weekend break. I just think it's a compliment, isn't it? It's a compliment. <laughs> in this stuff? Yeah, you wouldn't do it. I'd love to smell your underwear. If a woman said that to you, you'd be made up. You wouldn't do it to an ugly woman, would you? Like, no. if you were disgusted by a woman like your, your friend's partner, you wouldn't do it. If a mate so, of mine, so if I me? caught a mate of mine sniffing Laura's <laughs> knickknacks... I'd, I'd just, I'd be like straight to Laura. I'd be like, one. Why are you glassing? Yeah, you've got to. Just get it out, and it. What on. do you want to happen? No friends no more? It, there's a, there's oh, a. If it was me. <laughs> what, if it was you? And I'd wink at the camera and go, <laughs> do something, Dan. <laughs> it's just a sign that says, I'm what? Oh my God. And we've got cameras yeah. that record onto a phone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I get a lot of Instagram likes. Man. That's going to be a fun video to post. Just put it in the group. If La if Laura saw it, would you want to know, or would you rather ignorance is bliss, fingers in the ears? Yeah, because it's know. not you finding. It's, it's not Laura. you finding. It's the the lady. So Laura's got a video of me sniffing her neck and going, "Don't tell Dan. Whatever you do." Yeah, we. I, I honestly think <laughs> you've got to tell. You've got to tell. You have to tell. Yeah. Because this is horrible. It all joking aside, I know it's your mate. I know, sorry, I know they're mates, but I, what's what's he going to do next? He's going to have a wank. <laughs> have a wank in the pantry. What's you can't have this. This I is, just this, I do. I go, this is a red have... card. This is a red card, isn't it? No. Yeah, but it's not a bad, is it? I think that's his first foul. So you, <laughs> <laughs> you don't two get, more. <laughs> yeah, any any more, and you're getting booked. Really? Yeah. I think you just speak to him. Just a, a quiet way with him. Can't let the game get out of fucking hand on the first file of the what game. What would you do if the camera was rolling and he was just wanking in your bed? Is that not as bad? Yeah, that's defo as bad. But he no, the without, door. without without the knickers. But he opens the door and comes in the door. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Right. oh yeah, no, that's bad. I think you've got to find. If you other asked people me to, to check in on your house and you had one of these cameras and I didn't know and I just the mood just took me and I just yeah. had a wank on your bed. I didn't come on your sheets. I come into a tissue. And I put it in the toilet. Would your bare naked ass against my sheets? No, I'll, is it I'll, my room? I'll keep my undies on. Is it my room? I have one wanking in and one in Lauders. <laughs> Goldilocks. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. <laughs> whose room is that? <laughs> I'm not going to say whose room is next. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen. Yes. The ki Let's move downstairs the before this takes a different tone. Yeah. So I'm just having a wank in your rooms. Right. I haven't come on anything. I haven't actually sullied anything. You didn't finish. <laughs> do you know, I don't know if that'd be more annoying if you just wanked to, to like... No, I, I do come, but I come on my own belly and then rub it in. 
and then leave. <laughs> that is polite. <laughs> Do you wait for it to dry off? What do you mean? It's like nature's moisturizer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Nature's moisturizer. <laughs> like with an Aldi, you've got suntan lotion, but you want a t shirt on to go to the shop. Yeah. It's exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'd have a few questions. Yeah, you can ask questions, but would it be... Also, like Laura would be like, breaker? why do we pick Adam to look after the fish? He lives an hour away. <laughs> <laughs> and he's famously not reliable. Like he asked for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, it. what was weird was, he found out we were going on holiday and then bought us fish. <laughs> Someone's going to have to look after them. Like, there's two goldfish and shabumpkin. You want to stick them in there? <laughs> hey, by the way, you didn't even want to feed them when you were away. Get on me. Uh, I'll be uh, using two of the bedrooms upstairs, not the other two. <laughs> oh dear. Roll the locks. I don't know what you're meant to do with that, mate. I just, I just think you need to get this knicker sniffer out of you, mate. I think out you of your need life. to give him the benefits of the doubt. Oh, you're very, very liberal. <laughs> I just don't I'm very people. Father O'Leary about that. <laughs> Fucking old knickers. <laughs> One pair. That nah, costs fuck all. <laughs> See this could be our first case <laughs> Got a case to solve Did he actually sniff the knickers Or was it a case of mistaken identity We're gonna have to get to the bottom of this Leary Oh yeah 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 <laughs> Sorry I'm stoned <laughs> <laughs> I'm off me barnet <laughs> Oh don't tell me you're back on the shake <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, never, never off it <laughs> <laughs> Um Ladies and gents, <laughs> that has been a ridiculous episode. One poo break. Oh shit, I've got to go to Birmingham. Oh, I do. Right, cool. Love you. Appreciate you. Quick music. Quick. Sorry. Quick music. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this is a band called Orchards from uh, Brighton. It's a song called Leave Us Here. Ooh. Oh, the Orchards. The Orchards. Yeah. They, are they still in Brighton? They're not moved to LA. Anyway, cool. Enjoy the song. <laughs> Arena tickets by them. We haven't got many left, like five left or something. Oh, do you know what? If you haven't got your arena tickets by now, just don't fucking bother. No, ignore like, them, buy them. There's only a couple left. You you've, had an, you've had enough chance, just you don't deserve it. Arena Fire button. Arena